Welcome in, guys. I'll be doing good today. Good start of the week. Well, thank you for the first casual bar. Crazy. No one was there before you. That's so wild. Imagine if someone was there before you. That would have been crazy, right? But I guess you were the first. So thanks for the first year. Hello, Mana Seeker, and welcome in, Kill and I Wolf Demon. Leaks? Yeah, I'm speaking about the, like, pack leaks. There, there's a new, like... Want to see a weird replay? I'm down for it. We could start with some replay. I'm down for some replay. Uh, I don't know really what I want to do today. Upstream, last time we went back and completed every gem tier, so we don't need to go back and do it again. The Fusion Festival start again later on. The Monster Type is so fun. You mean the OTK event? And you, do you want to know? The OTK event is going to be in function again in the XZ's festival, because if you look at the loner, Lyrax is in full power again. So, people are going to be running around again with Lyrilus, Assemble, Nightingale with full equip and try to OTK you. So, it's going to be the exact same event twice in a row. Best of all, the world. Okay, I'm going to go see that. What were you on? Me taking a Pokemon TCG vacation for the next three months. Ooh, do you plan to do anything other than that? I've started rebuilding my TCG Yu-Gi-Oh deck. You've never been to OTK? Ooh. I've been OTK sometimes. I built... My deck was built around tilting the Leverlask OTK. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's start with a small replay here. Uh, let's go there. We're gonna put some music in the background. I went with a different route this time. I got reminded of a game I really like. And I wanted to get the, like, BGM for, not the BGM, but the OST for this as, like, background song. So I made a playlist on YouTube. We're going to see how it goes. Uh, might be scuffed still, but we're going to see if it goes well. You're going to recognize probably the song straight away. So, here it starts. But yeah, so let's go with the festival replay. I'm guessing this is the one, so let's go for it. I think I'm gonna lower it a bit again. Uh, this should be fine. Is it too low or too high still? Oh no, you're on worms! Worms! You'd still love me if I was a warm guy. Your Sanju is anti OTK. Oh, yeah, that's fair, to be honest. But yeah, do, did you guys see the next pack teaser? Like, that's what I wanted to talk. So the next pack is gonna have the boy, the mid, the legend. Warm Zero. Okay, so you are on Worms. And they are on maybe the structure deck or something similar. They're on ballpark for sure. Worms! So I do not know what the worms do, to be honest. So punching into the egg, they did not read that this cannot be destroyed by battle. They just wanted to do damage, maybe. And you get on the worm. <laughs> they look so goofy, to be honest. Everything will be locked. Yeah, everything will be locked. I just hope they ban Diabolosis. Because if we get Diabolosis and Rise Art at the same time, it's going to be so unfun. So, so unfun. I'm not too against fighting like a Rise Art. We can keep him a bit, but I don't really want to uh, deal with the Rise Art myself. Because my deck loses super hard to it. But we're getting the rescue ace is kind of interesting. So, so here, I'm gonna be honest, I still do not know what your worms does. You just summon this yellow guy again and again. What do you mean? Cash is fun, it's fair. Yeah, for sure. I, I just love that people are not gonna be able to run like double Zeus like they do in the TCG to be able to, let's say, TTT the Arise Art to be able to make Zeus over it. Because they are gonna get Unicorn the Zeus away now. You're on Swords Revealing Knight? Whoa, you're on something here. 
Double Zeus is why. Double Zeus is funny because you can make Zeus over Zeus. It will be a nice addition to your Funk uh, cash deck. It will be so strong. I don't know how long we're gonna have a Rise Art viable, like playable, I mean. Because you you know he got banned in the DCG not long ago, so I don't know how long we're gonna have the Rise Art usable. But that's something that I would like if he doesn't stay around too much. Because I, I would literally, once the Rise Art comes down, I would need to, like, make my deck go second and play, like, triple Kurkara, triple Nib, and all those things just to be able to deal with the Rise Art itself. Why do you have your arms? This worm is so stupid. Like, it reminds me of a Noodle Man or something. <laughs> Worms are funny to show I still... Like, I didn't understand what you did, really. You just summoned a bunch of worms and punch him to death over and over and over and over. <laughs> if Kit Kalas is still legal, that they will hit anything special for cash. Well, they should hit uh, Dabolosis for sure. Like, Dabolosis is not something you want to keep in the game. With a Rise Art at the same time. Because that makes the deck super toxic. And that allows the deck to lock you for almost every zone in turn 1. So this is a card they really need to get, at least get rid of Diabolosis before. Do a pre it ban Diabolosis, at least there's that. They can still make a Rise Art, it's gonna be crazy, it's gonna be super strong. Uh, with a singular Zeus, I don't even know if uh, Pearly can deal with them. But we're gonna see, and with tier gutted like they are, Cash is just gonna be the tier of zero deck again. So we're probably gonna go into another tier zero meta. Devilsis will probably be banned, and Field Spell will definitely go to 1, and Arise Art Untouched, maybe, yeah. I I'm gonna have to see, maybe they're gonna get it right, but we never know. It's Konami, like... It they could be in a best of 1, like, they could really be tier 0 easily. Because you need to build your deck so much again... It's gonna compete with Pearly, but the thing is... Pearly is dealt with if you can like unicorn their zeus away they don't have a zeus anymore and that was a big thing that pearly did to deal with the arise art and everything and those stuff so i feel they still don't have the best matchup like really strong for sure but funny enough lash lo lash loses to the same stuff really loses yeah i know like cash loses to the same stuff just give me my ninja and I'll be happy, boy. I know a lot of people are happy about the rescue ace. I didn't see the full, like, leak thing. I know rescue ace are coming. I know the next support of cash is coming. Uh, do we know if the full rescue ace is gonna come? Or just, like, part of it? Because I've seen people play rescue ace. They seem wild. Like, rescue ace seems wild to play. So, that's something I'm not sure. I might try them out. They seem... Probably not all. Yeah, probably not. I know in the league, they did not show the... Tear Cash and the other two quick play weren't shown. Yeah, I know. Like, there's some cards that weren't shown, but that doesn't mean they won't be there. And welcome in, never in my life. Like, we don't know. Maybe they're gonna be there, maybe not. If they do Cash in three waves, that's gonna be crazy. Worms actually have a secret pack. They do? They do? I did not know that. I am going second. Let's see if I lose this. Let's hope we can at least gain one rank. That's my goal today. Get to Diamond Tree. Yeah, for sure the field spell limited. We started with Entraps. We started with Entraps. We run like six Entraps, I think. And we started with almost every one of them. This is the hand. You, you understand why I don't run like triple ash? Because if I was running triple ash, I would have drawn another ash. Hey, what up, man? You want to duel my new sword soul deck? I could go for some duel later on. I think I'm going to start with some ranked. But later in the stream, I could go for some duel. For Entrap, so you have cross out in hand. Yeah. Uh, now I'm going to max see them because they have the life to an ear. Maybe we can do something. Funnily enough, they do have the call by. Okay. Funnily enough, do you know what I can do? 
I can summon Ash Blossom, punch into one of the guys, use all ghoul and make pep. That is one of the funny things I could do. It's a basic sort of deck. I just finished building it. Ooh, have you gotten a... Have you tried it in rank or anything? Because that seems super interesting. Uh, so it's right here. I think I'm ashing that still. I don't want them to... Maybe they don't have the other sprite. Like, if they go gigantic, I can just go Sogur the gigantic. And that might stop their turn. So let's hope that is. Because did you know that Gigantic needs to detach as a, uh, an effect? So if you pop the Gigantic before it can detach, you are good. Yeah, they confirmed the cash hero support. Let's go! We might be able to stop them, guys. Let's hope we draw a playable. Go, go, go! <laughs> yeah, it's so broken, but leads us to so many end traps. Do they have something now? No, they don't. So is that going to be their turn? Is that going to be their turn? The thing is, I don't have a follow-up. I don't have a follow-up, but please. Italy one time. Or that is not good. That is really not good. Do I keep my Ash in end? I think I do. Because if they draw anything to start their play, I want to kind of Ash that. Uh, I'm going to believe I draw something next turn. Come on, my guy. I, I You have nothing there, right? You have nothing. If they had Sprite Starter, they would have used it earlier, I'm pretty sure. It, they, they would be dumb if they had Starter and did not use it. They are waiting on the end phase now, so that's weird. Like, what could you wait on? It's your turn, my guy. It's your turn. Oh, the DC Cup is coming back. I did not know that. So, yeah, that makes sense. They did have the starter? That's crazy. Ain't no way you're starting there. Ash Blossom. Good thing I kept the Ash. Time to save my gems then. Yeah. Do you plan on building the Punk thing? Let's see, let's see. Did they draw playable? They are on Sprite Life Twin, so for sure they have a playable hand. Let's hope I am not dead there. Welcome in, let me pop off. We drew... L look at our hand that we drew. Ash, Ash, Ghost Ogre, Maxi, all gold. That was a hand, and we're pretty much dead now. Like, I don't see myself winning this game, but we're gonna try at least. So, they get a life twin. Those one does not, like, lock them in any way, right? So, they go gigantic again. They detach. They get themselves the blue. The blue summon gets the jet. Jet summons at the... Oh, no. They go into elf? Oh, elf revive blue. Then blue search jet. Jet summons the... Uh, jet search the gamma burst. If they are on gamma burst, I'm pretty sure I'm dead. Sadly, we did not draw any playable. Drawing Terra, do you have the Jet already? Are you crazy enough to have Jet already? Getting Terra, that's weird of a play. I would have gotten, like, that's 1.4k, 1.1. If they get the uh, Gamma Burst, that's 1.4. So that would have been, like, 4k damage on 3 monster with a jet that is 1.2, so they would have been so close to killing me. Battle phase, I'm not dead, I might have a chance. Remember when Evil Twin Boss Master Trouble to me came to Master, everyone was playing them. Yeah, they are VTuber rub their community, they're like thieves, they, they, they have... Like, their VTuber appearance during the day, and during the night, they just are thieves trying to, like, steal away. Dude, dude. I already have a Unicorn and Fenrir. I might as well get the rest. Yeah, that's fair. Let's hope, please. A playable card. There's so many. Italy does not do it right now. That's not a playable card. Good God, that hand. We add Ghost. We add... Like, let's see the deck. Let's see how many cards I could have drawn to start me the game. We add, in this game, one, two, three, four. Uh, any zombie would have done it to. Like, four, five, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Even this, 12, 14, uh, 15, 16, 17, 18. Uh, there was 19, 20. 20 cards to start the game, and none of these in my opening end. Instead, I started 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All 1-ups, by the way. I have so many monsters. The thing is... I could have Small World, but the thing is, there's no real monster that I want to banish most of the time. Like... If I go small world, I go to my I go minus way too much. Like I remove one monster and one card. It's two card for a singular card, but most of my cards needs another card. Like the best would be get the Amin, but small world banishes face down. So I would remove the Algol Mazira, but the thing is, Algol Mazira I want him face up. Why no Ogre Dance? Because Ogre Dance doesn't add much to my deck. Like, Ogre Dance only... Oh, I cannot type. Ogre Dance here only searches me the Foxy Tune or something else. But I don't really want to search them that much. I don't really have enough cards that do stuff. It's susceptible to Ash. It's susceptible to Called by the Grave. So there's no real reason to run this. I I'm running cards to, like, deal with Monster in Hand. Like, one for one... And Foxy Tune to deal with them. It adds Ziamin, I know, but I don't want to summon Ziamin most of the time. I want to eat Ellie Ziamin out. In my TCG list, I only have two Ziamin just because I have three eat Ellie there. I do not want more Ziamin. I want eat Ellie. Ziamin is not the best in my deck. It really is not. Like, Ziamin just dies to an Ash Blossom, and my, my deck is built to play around Ash Blossom more. Like, if I add Ogre Dance, there's no cards that I can really remove. I could remove the Fenrir, maybe? But Fenrir is such a good disruption for now. Uh... You, you like the deck, you just don't realize zombies. The thing is, vampires are kind of bricky. The, the issue is not enough end traps yet, clearly. We just drew... Like, I reduced my amount of end traps too. Like, I was running triple Ash Blossom first and triple Maxi, and I reduced them to make sure that I did not draw as many of them as I did in the last game. I literally said, I'm gonna be weaker on end traps just to not have what happened happen. So it's just the game saying, me saying to me, like, ain't no way, you're not playing this game. And the thing is, I have a lot of ways to start, like, one for one is a free starter. Foolish Burial is a free starter. Any zombies that I add could have been a free starter. If you had a monster, I just summon Ash, do all ghouls, summon, make pep, and I have something. Just play pure punk and call it zombie punk because you have Ash Blossom. <laughs> but the thing is, I want vampire punk. I don't want zombie punk. This is a different variant. But that was just an unfortunate game. We almost had it. If we drew, like... Is the Amin or any other playable starter in the second turn? We add the game. We completely dealt with our board and we had everything we needed to start playing on our end. Just a single starter. Like, one for one was crazy. Uh, Foxy Tune was pretty good too. Like, those cards were good. That's more like it. Still not the best. I die... No, I don't die to an Ash Blossom, but that's gonna be a bit weird. We started with two of our targets that we want to send, so that's kind of annoying. But we can add this here. Let's see if they have the Ash Blossom. I do not think they do. But we send the Ghost Sleeper to get the Ghost Fusion too. Like, this is how it should be. This is a good end. Especially for going first. Like, we get a Ghost Fusion already, so now we can just do... Uh, Jam Dragon Drive. Get ourselves the... We could even go Chaos Ruler, but the thing with Chaos Ruler is that... Uh, Chaos Ruler dies to... Um, it, it dies to a singular, like... It, it kills my zombie world if I mill it. That's what I'm talking about. Like, I was... Struggling so hard to say that. I don't know why. 
Then we do that and we chain block with the Xiamen too. So in case they have Ghost Bell. I see some I saw some people running Ghost Bell, so you never know. Just suck when you get Nim. Well, this deck loses to Nim. There's no likes. There's no going around it. I'm not playing around Nib because I don't have the option to play around Nib. So we had Ghost Togger to the end. So at least we had a, an end trap there. That's pretty good. Then we get this. We do not need to send a Ghost Sleeper. We do not need to send a Ghost Sleeper. I gotta remind myself of that. We do not need to send a Ghost Sleeper. And by the way, welcome in, Couch. I did not see you come in. I think I forgot to say welcome to you. So let's do that, then we send to the graveyard, at this point I think I'm sending the Banshee, just cause the Banshee allows me to, I could have sent the Mizuki to make myself a Baron before I do that, but I think that's fine, I don't think they have any end traps, so we're gonna see how it goes. There we go, we got this, now we got a Ghost Fusion. And we can keep our tuner on the field, so that might be good. Like, I don't need the ja dragon, jam dragon drive. So, let's do the ghost few. Oh, we need to use this because it's an earth. Never mind. I was gonna say, but we need to use the same attribute as the monster that we want to do the other one. So, we cannot. It's, it's a zombie, but it's not a dark, so we could not. El Welcome in, Delta Banan. I hope you're doing good. How's your week starting? Uh, we are gonna banish the. Go sleeper here, get ourselves the Shang-Chi, then Shang-Chi now, we have a, a lot of things we can send to the grave. So first off, I think I'm sending the Baylor Drug, just to clear it out of the way, so that I do not draw it when I do other stuff. So we do this here, we're gonna send the Mizuki now, and do you see the new Inferno support? No I did not. What are you on about? The fusion literally reads like a custom card. Ooh. What does it do? If you want to drop the description in chat, I'm down to read it. So we are going to send a Mizuki. Sadly, we don't have any vampires anywhere. So we are going to need to do it this way. Getting a foolish could be really good. We... Oh, and they surrendered. Let's go. They were so tired of me comboing. This would have ended in a sucker plus... Like, I could have even get gotten rid of the Beatrice. I didn't need her anymore. So I make a Sucker, I revive, I draw a card. I might get something else to start extending to in, into an IP. When does the second event start? Uh, tonight. In about five hours. Maybe four and a half hours. It's one of your favorite decks. I've seen some Infernoid. Like, isn't Infernoid the thing that runs, like, Reasoning and you always want to call one? Because if you don't, you lose. Isn't that, like, the, this deck? I log in to get free jimmies. Yeah, it starts at 11 p.m. EST, so in about four hours and a half. So I'm gonna probably do it. It's gonna be uh, the Liverless OTK event all over again, by the way, because the Liverless is at full power again. They were on Cash Tira. They could have maybe won that, to be honest. They had Dark Ruler no more. If they just waited patiently, they might have been able to join to Dark Ruler. So they just got tired of waiting, but you gotta play to your heart. The new Inferno Fusion uses to Inferno that material, and its first effect is basically 10 times Foolish Burial for Inferno, and when itself it's the grave or gets banished, it starts. That's crazy! A 10 Foolish? It's it's stupid, Inferno 2. You, you're playing Madolce regardless, we sweeping folks. I might be playing Sue Ship. I might have some fun with Sue Ship in there. Okay, this hand is like unplayable. They're really unplayable. So let's hope Zombie World stops them. But no vampire normal summonable. And because at least if I had a normal summonable vampire, I could have domination. Like set the domination and end up there, but that was really bad. What is love? Plan don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. What is love? <laughs> okay, so they are on branded. I don't think I win this. I really don't. Like, I don't know I win against... It's Sprite? What is Sprite doing with regain? Are they playing, like, Sprite branded? Oh, just start with Sprite blue, don't you? Like, this guy just wins now. 
He started like blue in hand. And welcome in, Gauntrain Drop. I'm getting sacked by the game. I drew this card two games in a row. It's a one of. I drew this card two games in a row. I drew this card this game and the last game. So I'm pretty sure I'm dead right now. We're gonna see, but this guy just like have everything. He's got he's getting the starter. He's gonna start her for red. And if I remove my Banshee, he's gonna be able to red it away. So he makes gigantic now to get himself probably the red. Have you tried sushi with magic magicy? I've seen them around. I haven't tried them to be honest. I didn't try the sushi plus magicy, but I know they exist. Like I know it's an engine because magicy likes normal monster and everything. But I have not tried them myself. I just play more pure sushi, and it's working pretty good. It's working pretty great, to be honest. Oh, we're getting to the best song. Do, do, have you guys played uh, Pokemon X when you were a kid? Like, this is one of my favorite Pokemon games of all time. I love this game. And I think we're getting close to Mirror Beast team. I think it's the Mirror Beast introduction here. No, it's Cypher Admin, but Mirror Beast should be... Oh, did I lie? Oh no, Mirror B is way down the path. Never mind. So now they start her again. It's pretty cheap to try and play pure Sue Ship too because it was fun. I love myself some Sue Ship. I would love to see more support that is actually good. But I'm gonna be honest, I'm pretty sure we're dead here. Like, I'm pretty, pretty sure there's no way we win this. But we're gonna try our hardest. He cannot punch over the Banshee right now, so at least there's that. If he makes health, he does not punch over the Banshee. The new spell is great. I've heard that it's not that good, to be honest. The new Suship spell, I heard it's not that impressive. Inferno has got a link 4 monster, but that one is pretty meh. Yeah, I've seen people say that it's not the greatest. So they do make health here. Uh, are they gonna revive the red now? If they do, I'm gonna call by the thing they revive, and then it's gonna force the carrot at least. So they're gonna pop something, like probably their gigantic or stuff, so it's gonna just make it even harder for them to punch over. They're targeting something. I might be good. I don't think I am. Pixie. Uh, what are they doing with Pixie? A uh, level 2, or rank 2 monster, you can special summon this card. If another level 2, control battles and opponents, you can send this card from end or field. That monster can attack equal. Okay, we want to negate this because that's going to be their way to get over my Banshee with their board. So now they are forced to do Carrot if they want to punch over my Banshee. And by doing carrot, they either get rid of gigantic or sprite elf. So we're making them use a, a tough choice. The link monster in itself is decent, but Inferno as the deck just struggles to get it out and it's not worth it. Yeah, I can see that. They don't flood as much, right? The Inferno, so it's harder for them to bring a link for out. Yeah, they are gonna carrot, but what are you getting rid of? You can go over my Banshee for sure, but we might have a chance now. They probably get rid of Gigantic, yeah. So they're gonna have Carrot and Red next turn. I don't know how I deal with this. We're gonna see. The Magic Spectre support is also bun bunkered, so knowing that I have to respect the Pan deck now. Oh, I didn't read the Magic. I didn't read the news, to be honest. So now they have the Pixie, they're gonna try to go battle. I'm gonna try to make them use as much as I can, but it's gonna be rough. <laughs> Carrot has screwed you over so many times. The thing is, they're gonna have like both a uh, Monster Negate and a uh, Spell Negate next turn, which is gonna be super hard for me to play through with my hand right now. So they probably punch with Elf here, use Pixie to boost the attack. At least I'm not dead. Punching with Carrot. So now they're gonna use Pixie here. 
Uh, we are not gonna use Banshee now. We can always use Banshee from the grave, so that's gonna save some damage. At least we only take 1,000, and we take 1.4 here. And afterwards, the red is... Now the question is, do I trigger Banshee right now? I don't need the zombie world as much, and I could try to bait out the red. What could this be? Please, please, please. Tell me I'm not like, it's not like double imperm or stuff. Uh, do I try to deck in? Because the thing is, if they get themselves the red, I don't know what I do. So I think I'm still going to do Benshi now. I don't want to draw into zombie world for sure. So we're going to get this and hope for the best. Vampire ghost might be good. Oh, they're gonna draw a card, shuffling my Banshee back into the deck. So that did not deck in me at all. At least that was during the end phase, so they could not use the card. Please don't draw the Banshee again. That's not a card I can use. That really is not. Well, this was a hand. We could do nothing here. We can summon this maybe and punch over the carrot? But, or just punch over the health? But they just get stuff for free. Like, there's literally nothing we can do. We're gonna just go next at this point. That was sad. I Can I just draw a starter game, please? Any starter. I, I had one game where I drew either Xeomin or Ghost. Like, any of those are amazing. I hope Glad Beast and Ritual Beast and Battling Buckster gets your card. That would be cool. They're old archetype. Do you want to know that you Draco Traps card that negates all monster effects? Uh, True Draco? I've heard about True Draco, but most of the time, uh, isn't that like something with if they have no extra deck or something? Why can I just, why do I draw my bricks all the time? Can I draw a starter? I have the Amin at least, but like, can I draw anything? I'm dead. I'm dead. It's Dark World, they're gonna get an Apo, and I'm pretty sure I'm dead. Well, I want better worm support just for me. The thing is, with reptiles, they cannot do too much good support because reptile is... I have a, a foolish burial for four. So that's kind of scary. One card adds any Magic Spectre spell card. New spells basically worse Italy for the deck. And new link cards add two months again. Oh, welcome, Man Cloud. How did your Unkai go? Thanks for the raid. Let me give you a shout out real quick while I get destroyed by this player. How did your stream go? I was there for a bit. I'll take a shot of vodka for Ooh. you. Because you're my goddess. <laughs> oh. Cloud drunk? That's rare. You know, I would normally say that I'm usually half baked or under baked, but I think I'm fully baked for you, goddess. <laughs> <laughs> what was the context of that? Stream went well. No! Okay, I don't know what they did. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, making me draw a card, then we discard a card. That's fine. We are probably gonna discard the... Banshee at this point, because I don't need it. I already have Zombie World in the field, so I don't need it at all. But I'm pretty sure I'm dead there. They just make Apo, and I don't have a way to deal with it. Oh, Benchy can activate from end. That, that I did not know. But yeah, so if you need to go rest up and, or anything, Cloud, I know after stream sometimes it gets tiring, or you we usually go till we are like pretty tired. So if you want to just go rest up, go make some food. I know sometimes we gotta remind you to go eat food, so. Please go grab yourself a snack or something and just chill out. It's completely fine. Thank you for dropping by with your community. For those that don't know me, I'm pretty sure most people know me already. But for those that don't know me, I'm just a small plant playing card games. That's going to be super annoying. The Abyss Dweller here is going to be so, so annoying. You'll go eat. Let's go. Abyss Dweller kind of screws me over. Uh, so let's try to play from this. Zombie needs more support. All zombie months are outside of Bale Shark are just so outdated. The thing is, vampires are getting there. They just need a second wave of support. Because vampires, the last support was really good. They just need... Come on, hit yourself, Bigfoot. Hit yourself. You're a trade sniper. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on! What's up, dudes? It's a one and two. The guy just wins a one and two. That's stupid. Look up Monarchs Erupts and tell me why it negates my Punisher effect. Even though I have lower... Because it's not an activated effect. The, the thing is... But, uh, Pep is only against... A, a pump, uh, Pep is only against activated effect. So it does not work again. It does not protect against a floodgate that's like permanent. Z zombies need a camera fortress dragon. I'm 100% serious. That would make people tilt. I don't think they need that. They need a fusion. Yeah, skill drain effects pep. Because it is not an activated effect. It is a continuous effect. So there's a big difference there. Pep is not unaffected by everything. It's just unaffected by activated effect. So you gotta keep that in mind. So is that gonna be the end board you end on? It's super weak right now. But I feel what zombie needs is an actual good zombie fusion because they got the ghost fusion package, but nothing to really use it with. So that's really annoying. Like the zombie fusion that's only good right now is Garura, and I would love for zombie to actually have a fusion that is worth going into. Okay, we might have a chance. Now they use that. That's annoying. Uh, that's really, really annoying. Uh, we could do Banshee, but there's no reason to. We might still be good. Depending on their trap card. Let's see, let's see. We do Ziamin. Do they do Goddess now? If they do Goddess, we just lose. But they are top decking, so maybe we're fine. They're thinking about it. Are they gonna just Unicorn flip that back to my end? They cannot Unicorn, so they're gonna go Goddess, right? They just are going to be lame and use Goddess and be annoying. I might not be dead next turn still. I have placed the other turn, but they're just being annoying. They went first. No, uh, yeah, they went first. They had the full combo. I bricked a bit on my hand. So we're going to... Oh. Zombie needs more starters so far. Most zombie deck just dies when the normal ultimate gets... Yeah, exactly. Wait, so if Peck was sent out first turn, then turn later, they use Skill Drain. Yeah, because the thing is, Skill Drain does activates on field, but the effect to negate is not an activated effect. It's a continuous effect. It's the same thing where, like, your Pep can be stolen by Tune End and everything. Because they can just... Okay, we're just gonna go next. They're gonna combo up. We went second, we drew bad, they drew everything, they were on Dark World, we just go next there. Let's hope we don't rank down. Is this gonna be my D-rank game? No, I don't know, maybe? Maybe not? Okay, not not yet, but one more lose, and, one more losses, and we just go down a rank. So please, art of the card. Like, the thing is, if you have an equip that says equip to a monster, gain control of that monster, the gain control of the monster is a continuous effect. The equip is not, so Pep is unaffected by the equip thing, but they can still use the... Uh, they can still equip your Pep, because even though it's unaffected, it can still be equipped, it, it just doesn't do anything. But once it's equipped, afterwards, the effect of the equip spell is a continuous one, so you can steal the Pep afterward. Metal Chain is beautiful because every single monster... Besides the princess, Brick is a starter. Hey, Satan, you started streaming again. I did not know. What, how did it go? How was your stream? Let me give you a shout out real quick. It's been a while, right? You took a hiatus. Oh, you were playing so this. You were playing Marvel Snap, right? How do you like the game? No, I never tried Marvel no, Snap. Uh, we're going to send all gold to the grave. We're coping hard on vampires right now. So do not seem to have any ant traps, so we might be able to just go ham. My laptop was dying this day streaming, but my game was fun and as fuck. Oh, I love that for you. So we can add the grace to our hand, then we summon the ghost, send the grace, add the shadow vampire, and do the full vampire combo. We don't have the other combo, but... I think lingering effect also go true. Yeah, like, mirror jade technically activates on field 
but it still is gonna destroy pep during the end phase because it is not an activated effect it is a lingering effect it, it activates on field once but once it's resolved it's not an activated effect anymore it is just lingering on the field it's there uh, we're gonna send this to the grave. I don't want to send the ghost yet. We might need it later on. So it's weird. It, it's the thing with pet being only unaffected by activated effects. So as soon as something activated, it's not considered an activated effect if it has a continuous element to it. So this is the thing you gotta keep in mind. That's what makes it weird a bit for most people. And I can understand the confusion. But that's the thing that you just gotta say Konami said so and it works that way. So we're gonna tribute Sucker. Thanks for the follow, Mr. Payless. I did I say it right? I hope I said it right. Right. But how is your day going? So we're gonna do full vampire combo now. Sadly, we did not draw into any of the punks. So Mirror Jade is complete BS, though. Yeah, I agree. Mirror Jade's lingering effect is completely bullshit. Like, there's no reason for Mirror Jade to have a lingering effect that only triggers during the end phase, blowing up your field. Like, if it was an effect that activated on the field straight away, that would have been fine. It wouldn't have been too bad, but it activating during your end phase is just, like, you can't build a board unless you build a board that is able to not be destroyed, you're done. I think just let, let's just delete Merchant and put Malicious to tree. <laughs> You're hero coping right now, Satan. Did, did you see, Satan, that the... That the... Arise art is coming next pack, so that's gonna be scary. That's gonna be super scary. So now we can do this again. We are gonna do the full combo. Uh, we already got the... We already got the Beatrice, so we don't have another, like, six to make, but we're just gonna make an IP with this. Sucker was not special from the Exo deck, we gotta remember that. So, Sucker cannot be used. Oh, we can do the all gold play! I love this play, guys. You banish the all gold from the grave? So now all gold summons itself, because it was banished. It's so good. I love this so much. So we got another body on the field. Uh, we do not want to change the level. Then with this, we send... Arise Art is custom art. Yeah, it is a custom card. Arise Art is the most custom card you can get. Then we get ourselves... Let's just hope we don't draw into... Uh, Doom King. That would be a shame. We already drew into Zombie World. So no way we draw into Doom King, right? We got so many good cards to draw here. Okay, Foolish is good. Foolish is good there. We can revive to make... I kind of want to make Linkeribo. I should run a uh, Anima instead of Linkeribo in this, to be honest. Because I want to have enough Monster Summon from the Exodec to be able to make Avermax if I want to. So I think I'm gonna just do... The... Vampire Familiar here. Get myself the Vampire Familiar. Get myself... Oh, I can't even. I blocked my zone. I'm dumb. I cannot do that. So, there's not gonna be any Avermax here. Oh, we can do... Do we have a Nate? No, we don't. Oh, that's a shame. I screwed this up so much. Oh, wait, wait. I've got a plan then. We Foolish Burial here. Then we sent to the graveyard uh, Z Amin. Then with Z Amin, we activate Zombie Weld. And because, see that, guys? That's thinking outside the box. We sent to the grave this. So now we can Mezuki the Z Amin again to get it back. To get the Z Amin combo going. And we can end on the pep now. That's crazy. I did not think about that first. So we get a Foxy Tune here, we do Foxy Tune, pitch the Ghost. And if we are able to get Voivode to our hand, we have a Ghost Trigger to Kaiju their monster. So that's crazy good. Then we're gonna do this, we do Chaos Ruler here with those two. 
One second, guys. I'm gonna read your chat in a sec. I'm just trying to not lose to the timer now because it took me a while to think about this play. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna do Dear No Tear. So getting ourselves the Z Amin again. We could go for the 8, but I don't want to mill them. They're on a weird 50 card deck, so we're not gonna mill them. We're just gonna end on Pep. We're gonna end on this. Okay, so one Vampire. Please avoid Voivode. I need the Voivode. No. I guess we can add the familiar to the end. That could be good. Then we are gonna make... No, we don't want to do that. Then we make... We could do... Pep with this. Right here. Then we do Chaos Ruler again. Make the zombie vampire mill them. At this point, I'm not too worried about milling them. Because that's recycle my Chaos Ruler. We banish this. We cannot banish the... Shang-Chi because she's not in the grave anyway, but she already used her effect, so we cannot. We're gonna do this, get the Chaos Ruler back again. We're comboing so much. I'm surprised this guy haven't left yet. Then we do this here with those two. Getting ourselves the Zombie Vampire here, and we're gonna fire up the effect. If we get a Voivo, that's really good. We're gonna send the All Ghoul for protection. Uh, special summoning. Ooh! Sure, I don't mind. Get myself a Fenrir too. And just deck 10 again. So getting yourself the other Fenrir. See this board, guys? That's crazy. The deck can go super hard when I want to. So we get this here, we get this here, and we end phase now. And that was pretty good. I'm pretty happy about that. That's why... I'm... Why is everyone afraid of a Rise Art? The the thing is, a right heart is just way too good. It's a big body. It has a pop. It banishes card face down. It attaches material to recharge its pop. And it is a macrocosmos on leg. And it's super easy to summon. So it just does way too much. It just does way, way too much. That's why I think a right heart is not a good card. Like for the game. That's why... Oh, I forgot to... Well, we don't get a Doom King anyway. Because I forgot Beatrice and we didn't have the field. So that's fine. We don't get a Doom King. We do not get all gold back if we if he blows up the field. But that's not too bad. That's why Madolce is beautiful, bounces the mirror jade, and easily puts 8k on the field. Yeah, Madolce is so neat of a deck. Like it's a no TK deck. It can do a lot of damage in one turn. Uh, why don't I have the Dragon Fusion? Because the thing is, uh, my Ghost Fusion only needs a 6. Because the case of my Ghost Fusion is only to go in a 6 and then banish the Shang-Chi from the deck. So the Shang-Chi banishes, then he can resummon. Then with Shang-Chi, I, I send a card to the grave from my deck. And afterwards, I go into Beatrice with two 6s. I most of the time do not need an 8. It, it, I don't run Super Poly in this. I only run this card, which is Ghost Fusion. And what Ghost Fusion says is that I fusion summon a monster from the extra deck. So they are going to add an e elemental hero. That's fine. I don't care too much. We milled some crazy stuff, to be honest, on there. So they are on heroes. I don't know. Hero break this board? Satan, maybe you can enlighten me. How do hero break a board like this? Like, how do they do it? Do they have a way? Do, 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 do. They might with Ice Guy. The thing is, I can just banish face down the Ice Guy. And Ice Guy does not deal with Pep. Uh, add one guy, he just normal summon. So let's just negate the Stratos. Yeah, Absolute Zero, but Absolute Zero does not deal with Pep. It does not. And if he does Absolute Zero, I can just like IP into Mommy to deal with it. Or IP into Avermax, and that deals with it. I do not know how he deals with this board. This is a crazy board. I have a face down banish. I have a goddess. I have a neighbor max if I need to. This monster cannot be targeted by months by targets except those from the graveyard. This is unaffected. He's gonna droplet. So I'm gonna lose the IP mascarina probably. So one. He already no, he didn't use this one, but we have the call by the grave for this thing. So triple monster. He's gonna try to target the psychic and punisher. Like, is he gonna try to negate the, the pep here? We are a bit higher on life points, so Fenrir, probably IP and Beatrice, maybe? 
That's what I would guess. Like, those would be the tree I would hit myself. Those would be the card I would hit if I was him. Yeah, those things. Okay. So, at least now he turned off most of our interruption. But we have the call by the grave here that we can call by this. So, that's fine. We call by this. And now he's on one card. No normal summon. And here we go. Here we go. Absolute zero activates upfield. You can banish it face down. The, the thing is... Uh, oh, it activates when it goes off the field. Uh, I don't know how the ruling would work with that. Because face down is weird. Like face down... I don't even know how to play Middle Shade. doesn't look like they have summon power. V with Vernusil, they sure do. Like Metal Chick can go super hard. <laughs> you just Grinch, did you just read Arise Art? Like, okay, now the Arise Art does sound broken. Well, we can, like, let me get just something here. Uh, one second. I'm gonna try to remember how to do this. If I go into. Do I have a source again for that? I think I had a source before. Uh, did I remove it? No, I did not. So, let's go for... Uh, let me just get... A Rise Heart. Kashira Rise Heart. And let's read it together. Uh, right here, right there. Kashira a Rise Heart. So... Oh, it's not showing right now. So you can see, I can uncrub this maybe. What was the uncrub button again? So you add this here. So what does it do? Absolute zero activates when it's sent from field to graveyard. So Fenrir couldn't stop it in any way since it doesn't touch a graveyard. The thing is, Fenrir can just like, if he uses any other effect before the absolute zero does anything, I can banish the absolute zero. If he just goes battle and punch with the absolute zero, he doesn't deal with the pep, so I'm fine. And I had the call by for Absolute Zero anyway. I think my opponents hate me. They aren't playing anything and just waiting out the timer. That's so lame. You can report them. What were those like? Were they about to rise? Yeah, th those were the thing I was talking about. Like a rise art. He's coming in the next pack apparently. And that's going to be scary. So if we read, the first effect is once per turn, you can also exceed summon a Keshira rise art. By using one Kesha Monster Control, if an effect of Shankri Era was successfully activated this turn. So it's super easy. Super easy. Apparently, there was a leak that said that he was coming in the next pack. So I'm kind of scared. So that's its summoning condition. You never make this with 3 level 7s. You just make this over any of your Keshira Monster. Uh, then after that, transfer its material to this card. Uh, any card sent to the graveyard is banished instead. So this is just a Macrocosmos on leg. It's crazy. It's a 3k beater, by the way. 3k attack, 3k defense. So that's super big for Macrocosmos on leg. And then after that, once per chain. Not even once per turn. Once per chain. Each time a card is banished, attach a a one banished card to this card as material. So every time they banish a thing, they attach more material to nuke. And then once per turn. Now they have a once per turn. Quick effect, you can detach your material from this card and target one card on the field, banish it face down. So that's crazy. This card has a super easy summoning condition and tree effect on top of it. It's stupid. A rise art is broken and should be limited to one immediately. The thing is, they don't need more than one. The thing that should be limited is like... Diabolosis needs to be limited at least. Like, we don't want a Diabolosis Keshtira rise art combo again. Yeah, that Macrocosmos ruins so many decks. It ruins so, so many decks. I feel like a Rise Art should be banned on release. Yeah, I don't think he should be banned on release, but for sure you ban a Diabolosis around it, and you limit some of the spells. Like, limit the field spell like they did. Leon! Welcome in! We're talking about the leaks that happened that apparently this guy is coming next. So let me give you a shout out real quick. Let me see that cute flower. Oh, yodely. You lick yours. What did I say I lick myself? What? That's what I said. I forgot that I, the chat moved down there. He forgot. What are you talking about? What? He forgot. What are you talking about? <laughs> Stream went well. You were playing yeah, art. What did you do as art? Did you work on your model? I know you made your model, right? 
It, yeah, it's not once per turn, it's once per copy. So if you have two Arise Art, but it's not gonna come up like most of the time that you have two Arise Art. But if you did have two Arise Art, you could use both the Banish Phase Down once on each card. That was just to be limited to one upon... No, I think that one just needs to be banned. If it's one, it doesn't solve the problem. They don't need more than one. They make one Devil Assist, one Arise Art, and they can lock you completely. And did you guys know, you're talking about Flu Under Ease. Did you guys know that Flu Under Ease eh, cannot be banished face down? Because if a card says banish Flu Under Ease face down, they are gonna still going to be banished face up. Because they have a condition on themselves. You're fine with the Rise Art Charm? I'm kind of fine with it. I just want Diabolus's gun. Because if you guys didn't play the TCG when Diabolus's and the Rise Art was up, most of the time they went first. And they zone locked at least all of your monster zone or all of your spell zone. And maybe like two or three more zones too. So you started playing with two zones on your turn. That was super fun. <laughs> now you can play Runic Kashira. Uh, keep fan at two, drop two assists to two. I'm fine. Go birds, eight consecutive. What do, what are they gonna hit for the birds again? To be honest, like what are they gonna hit for the birds to again? Because they hit the field spell. The next time I predict when this comes out, because birds are okay against Kestira kinda. They're gonna make Rubina to one. They are gonna make Rubina to one. Thanks for the third serving folly. I guess I'm just crafting the third nib. I think for what I'm gonna do myself, it's gonna be having like two Kirikara and triple nib in my deck with some change of heart and stuff. And I'm just gonna go vampire, go second, and pray for the best. Thanks for the second serving, too, Polly. Only one person said it took the first serving at the start. Uh, Shangri Ra limit would be fine, but it doesn't do much. Yeah, Shangri 1 to 1 could be good. Thanks for the follow, K. I'll be good. But what do you plan on playing against Rise Art? Because we. Apparently, it was leaked that it's coming in the next pack. So, what do you guys plan to playing? I might just tone down on Yu Gi Oh a bit. I've got a deadline now. I want to bring. Let, let's go back to. Uh, Master Duel right now. Like, I wanted to get this deck to Master. But this deck loses super, super hard to uh, Kashira. So I have a deadline. I have a deadline now. I need to get this deck before Rise Art drops. Because if a Rise Art is here, I lose this to Rise Art super hard. I'm a graveyard deck. What do you expect me to do? I cannot play through a Macrocosmos and there's 3,000 attack and defense. Uh, no, why the birds? Because Konami ate the bird. Yeah, Shangri-Ra isn't a problem, to be honest. Shangri-Ra really isn't that much of a problem. It's mostly a Rise Art and Dabolusis, because Dabolusis is such a good synergy with the deck, so you don't really want Dabolusis. Evenly match, evenly match would be good. It's just that if they lock every single of your spell zone, you cannot evenly match them anymore. That's a problem. If they lock every single spell zone, you're kind of screwed. <laughs> Nobody can play Arise Art except me. You're gonna like buy the all the Arise Art in the world and rip them all. Just like Kaiba. What does Diabolosis do? We can look at Diabolosis here. Let me just look it up. Uh Diabolos. Yeah, I cannot try it. Diabolosis the mind hacker. So let's go back to the browser real quick. Kaiju meta time, yeah, Kaiju, and Nibiru meta, and like, Kirikara is gonna go crazy to be honest, Kirikara is gonna be so great, because if the deck that beats Kashira is, if the deck that beats Kashira is Pearly, both of those loses to the same thing. Like, Double Assist is just another Banish face down, Banish a monster from the extra deck face down, and then Banish from your deck up to the number of Banish card face down, I think, or something. So it's just stupid. Santa Claus Tonk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I want people to start running Santa Claus. But once a Rise Art drops, I think I'm just gonna convert this. I'm probably gonna keep the Punk, probably remove most of the end traps because they don't do much, and just instead run like Triple Nib. 
And run. Uh, Kurikara, discard here to deal with them and hope for the best. Doesn't really lose to our uh, Arise Arc Microcosmos. They can deal with it a bit. Like, Pearly just run a lot of end traps. So they could, like, I know Pearly were kind of good into Kishira a bit. Maybe Zeta, maybe you can help me because I didn't play too much into the Kishira meta. So maybe you can help me. Uh, was the. Oh, thanks for the Prime Couch. Thank you so much. It's gonna go to. Right now, I'm working with someone to making a new emote set with the new model in mind. So it's gonna go to towards that right now. It's gonna help with the emote fun. So thank you so much for the sub. Thank you for bringing out Dark World no more. Yeah, not more with enough mats can get over. Like they can win. It depends on who goes first. I feel most of the time and how many end traps they draw. So there's a lot of like luck in this but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna just build this to go seven second probably remove the fan rear they're not gonna be good enough anymore and replace them with end traps instead like not end traps but like going second cards so fan is not gonna be important enough yeah book of eclipse is gonna be crazy like book of eclipse let's look at this like i heard about that you book and then you change all face up monster to face down, and then during the end phase, change as many to face down defense. Uh, then your opponent draws equal to the monster's change. But if you just killed all their monster when they're face down, it's fine. Yeah, Vampire dies to Arise Art super hard. Like every graveyard eight, when people were playing like pure tier, like when tier was super good, my Vampire struggled. It struggled super hard. Because everyone was on Graveyard 8, and I was not as good as a tier element deck to use a Graveyard. So I was just lost to the Graveyard 8. And then afterwards when... Well, I can still try to play this. Like, if I play a lot of Book of Eclipse, and I play a lot of going second card, I might still be able to do it. You're just gonna break their board. It's not too hard. You just break their board, and then you play from there. And uh, the thing with... Kashira is that they don't draw end traps like Pearly does, so it's kind of easier. And I don't think they reload as easy as Pearly, so it might not be too important. Yeah, what is your question, Papa? So you guys don't get Ash on it. Oh, you can get Ash on Book of Eclipse. I did not know about that. Because, yeah, that's right. The, you draw at the end, so... It, it, you can get Ash on the Book of Eclipse. I did not think about that. Why do I have Garuda but no Super Poly? It's for Ghost Fusion. So the thing is, I was running Super Poly at one point. I might start running Super Poly more in the uh, Arise Art meta because I'm going to go second. So I'm going to maybe load up on the second Zombie World and change the extra deck a bit to go more into Super Poly target. But right now, this, the Poly for Garuda is Ghost Fusion. Most of the time, I'm going to make Immortal Dragon with Z, Amin, and... Psychic Tracker to send to the grave the Ghost Sleeper. Then Ghost Sleeper adds the Ghost Fusion to my end. Then I use the Immortal Dragon and the Shang-Chi for my deck to fusion summon into Garura with Ghost Fusion. Because Ghost Fusion, if I'm lower life point than you, I can banish a monster from my end or deck that is the same as the monster used on field. Uh, that No, that uh, monster from end or deck to just make a fusion summon. So I make Garura, which is a 6. I get Shang-Chi back because I can banish a Ghost Sleeper that I sent. Uh, Droplet could be good, but I don't think Droplet gives you back your zone, right? Shangri-Ra doesn't give you back your zone if you Droplet it. Oh yeah, Droplet doesn't work even because Microcosmot subbed it. Droplet needs to send to the graveyard, so Droplet doesn't work. Ash, Imperm, Nib, Kirikara, Dark Ruler No More, and Evenly. Yeah, Droplet is not good anymore until Arise Art is dead. Well, I'm gonna see how it goes. I'm kind of interested in seeing. I didn't experience uh, cash, cash meta that much. I stopped playing a bit during that time. So I did not experience it that much. So I'm interested to see what it's gonna be. But I for sure, my, my deck is for sure losing a lot to them. So we're gonna see how it goes. Uh, I'm gonna probably just go gonna load up on a lot of board breakers and not go too much into the 
end traps route because end traps are if you draw them you are good but if you draw them later on they don't do anything so that's gonna be my route probably but it's gonna be a problem for future me but that was a reason like pop up that was a reason for ghost fusion because with ghost fusion in this way you get a garura you get a shang chi so both are sixes so shang chi afterwards sends to the grave anything from your deck most of the time it's gonna be banshee or mizuki or doom king and then afterwards you make Beatrice with Garura and Shang-Chi and then you send the Garura to the grave and you get a draw, you send another card to the grave and then you go from there. So that is the, why I have Garura. I tried with Super Poly, but the thing is I didn't like it as much. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like the concept of Super Poly. I feel it's kind of lame. Uh, I feel it's really, really lame of a card, so I don't really want to use it that much. Uh, but if I need to in the Arise Art meta, I might run it as a going second card. But my deck right now is built mostly to go first. So I can't allow myself, and I don't have extra deck space. Yeah, it's such a good board breaker, I know, but I don't have the extra deck space right now. I'm so tight. I could remove like the Nightmare Unicorn, but that would be to I would. The thing is, if I use Garura as a Super Poly target, my Ghost Fusion play is dead. So I have Ghost Fusion and Ghost Sleeper that are now dead on my deck. But the thing I could do is get Super Poly, add a Garura, add the Nether Soul Dragon, like the Nether Soul here. To make this guy with two zombie monsters, so I use like the same material, so that's another target. And if I have zombie world on the field, I can break the board. But like I said, my deck is made to go first. So for now, I'm not running it, but for the later stuff, I might just start running the Super Poly against Rise Art. Do this usually, I know Shangri Ras is fire, a Rise Art is dark, right? But I think I'm gonna change something to the deck. I should start running this guy now. Like a level 1 is the same requirement as Link Rebel and this guy could save me sometime. So the thing is, it's not gonna do much. I would need something else because Mud Dragon doesn't deal with a Shangri-Ra and a Rise Art on the field. Does, does the Kashira deck most of the time end on two darks? Uh, is it something they do often? Because another thing you can do is always normal summon my own dark and then super poly the Arise Art away. Because super poly is only a discard, right? It's not a send to the grave. Because yeah, I probably remove this, go the Anima. Anima is so expensive right now in the TCG. It's stupid. I wanted to buy one, but it's so stupid. Two dark and a fire if Davos is not banned. Okay, so I would be able to super poly their dark away. And are they the same type? Are they Garura target most of the time, the darks? Or would I need to like run the Starving Venoms to be able to deal with them? But I think I'm crafting an Anima. Anima's pretty good, so let's see. No, no luck there. Oh, we got a pack though. Tune. Let's go for the tunes. You need Starving Venoms. Okay, okay, that's good to know. But that's gonna be future me that's gonna need to deal with this. I randomly made on Dragon, Dragon Ruler, Kashira, Lucky Straight Turbo. Oh god, that seems like so many, many things. How many cards in the deck? Is it a pile? Let's see. Ooh, Natura Strawberry. I never knew this card. Blue Dragon Ninja. Are you gonna play the ninja yourselves later when they come to Master Duel? I know you were testing with them in the TCG when we played a bit in Omega, so... 48, 48 is not too bad to be honest. I'm gonna make my order up Thane in the other way so that I see that in the right way I'm used to. You got 200 UR from it. Ooh. I was crazy enough that I spent enough SR on opening every secret pack in the game. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a pretty good trick to be honest. Like, spending SR to get yourself more free packs to get some UR. Like, I got so many SR dust. But I might use my SR dust to just try to craft a vampire that is royal at one point. Okay, that's a bad starting hand, but we might be able to do something. We lose a bit to Ash Blossom, but drawing Banshee and Zombie World, like we drew 
those two cards so often this game. It's crazy. Like, today we keep drawing them. Now, when we read a ninja search deck at some point? Yeah, I know. There was, like, the... Uh, Switch League, right? The Switch had Ninja Structure Deck at one point, and it would close the game every time you try to open it. Unless they drop a structure for it, okay. I have a few decks I want to build before Ninja. What are you building on right now? Uh, we can do the Vampire Ghost here. Have you at least opened the multi-secret packs? There's a couple packs where if you have a single card... No, I didn't link it to you, Ed, to be honest. Oh, yeah, you talked about the plant link. Yeah, it's gonna be the Sun Avalon, right? Make the tree, make the tree bigger and bigger and bigger. It's gonna be that, right? So we use that here. We send the domain. Recast on Avalon. Ooh, there's a lot of people here that like to recast on Avalon, to be honest. Now, if I get Grace, I can resummon again. From the familiar here. Like, I'm probably get great to try and draw from the ghost. I still didn't normal, so that's pretty good. Oh, we get a retainer. Never mind. We can do more. So we do sucker here. With those two. Uh, you built Trika, but can play it too dumb, to be honest. Well, it will come with the time. You just give yourself some time to learn it. <laughs> Son of Anrika hurts your soul. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, Jessica's my favorite TCG player for sure, though. I have a run player level brain. Well, I believe you can level up. You just gotta believe in yourself. Rika isn't hard to be honest. Just take a few. Welcome in, Alternate. How are you doing good? How was your day today? A lot of raids today. Let me give you a shout out real quick. Oh, what was that game? What is this? It's an Aka Flash. What was this? Is this an old footage? And you were playing Matador, so what were you playing on Matador? Oh, we got the Voivode here. That's kind of annoying. They also have a monster, but if we can keep the ghost there, we are gonna be able to do ghost to get ourselves a kaiju on their turn so we are gonna banish a shang chi and we're gonna get rid of the retainer the sucker is still summoned from the the exodex so we can go into avermax if we want here but how was your stream how did it go did you try to rank up did you do any viewer duels or anything like that what did you do i'm interested oh and because we summoned that we get another body oh they have nib they have nib they are on nib yeah, they are nib. At least we get a draw. And they nib super bad, to be honest, because we get a Shang-Chi again. That was a really bad nib. Like, they should have waited so much. What I play in Macedo is Mikanko. Ooh, they win a duel. So we get a nib token, but we still get a Shang-Chi. They did really bad. Like, they should have timed that way better. Because now we get a great. We can still do Beatrice here. And we get the Garura draw, like, we can just come to do comboing up, they, they screwed up there, they screwed up super bad. What did I... I lose a lot of in rank using Mikanko, no! It's, it's fine, it's fine. Do you have a rank that you want to reach? Or anything? Uh, we can now send to the graveyard... The Mizuki? Then we have Extender there. I'm not going to make them send any card to the grave. But we can make Beatrice. Like, they screwed up so bad. If they just waited one more chain. If they waited on resolution of the chain. They could have gotten rid of my whole board. And that would have been bad. Uh, we're going to send this. I'm just trying to... The raid feature too in Twitch Mobile. Ooh. So we did the Vampire combo already. Oh, we can do the funny stuff, guys. We did it last time. But we can do the funny stuff again. We send the the army to the grave. Then we get the Mizuki now. So I will raid more people. Ooh, that's neat. Raiding is a lot like reading is good because it makes you connection. Like just reading to people, being there, being active a bit, it makes friends. And from friends you get more stuff. And like you just start hanging out, you make more friends. I started streaming just to hang out with some of my good friends. That I knew from just moderating and everything. And I just like... 
wanted to spend more time and know what they were doing. So I just started, like, streaming myself. And I love it right now. But yeah, reading is definitely something you should do more. So we go cast Ruler there, which is great. Like, this guy completely screwed up. He had a way to stop my whole combo. And he just decided to blew it way too soon. So we make this with this one now. I kind of want to do the Amen again. Uh, the Amen would make me a pep. The other thing would make me a zombie vampire. I kind of need a zombie vampire actually. Because if I don't, I do not have a target for my domination right now. So I really need to get a zombie on the field. Going to reach bronze one by the season, baby. Oh, I believe in you. I believe so hard in you. Okay, those were really bad. We can add the vampire to our hand at least. We still did not normal summon, by the way. We did not use our normal yet, which is crazy. We could even steal their zombie. Like, we could do... Um, Fascinator... But we can't resummon stuff, and we can steal their monster to make something with their nib. But I don't think we need to. We just do that here. We get ourselves the zombie vampire. And now we're going to see on what they are. Because we're going to mill them. I would have loved to see zombie vampire be a bit more than 3,000. Like, make it 3.2k or something. Oh, they're on Mikanko. Uh, we can special summon the Scarlet Scourge here. Scarlet Scourge is going to resummon something else. So Scarlet Scourge effect is going to resummon the Sucker here. Then summon Sucker summons my field. Then we make ourselves the IP with this and this. So we end on a Numni Negate. We end on a Maxi. We end on a Kaiju. And we end on the Doom King. That's pretty good. And it's true getting nib, by the way. We got nib this game. So, I feel we're doing pretty good. This guy really screwed up with his nib. He could have stopped all this. With a singular nib, he was able to stop everything. He just needed to wait a bit. I got so many Mikankos you are. I might as well build Mikanko. Mikanko's pretty good. So, it's a good idea to build them, to be honest. They did have the Ash, but that's good. I want them to Ash the Maxi. Because now I can just Beatrice. I don't care about the Maxi. I'm not gonna kill you by drawing more cards. I'm gonna kill you by getting the Doom King on the field and kaijuing your monsters and everything like that. So, have fun. Then the Max is negated, that's fine. But now Doom King comes back next turn. And if they try to threaten battle phase, we can always try to. Like, they're not gonna activate it in many effects. So, I think I'm just gonna chain Doom King to this. Let's go! Oh, I can't believe I beat in uh, Nib play. That was great there. We were sweating that game. That was crazy. Mid Kanko. I, I'm not impressed by Mikanko, to be honest. I don't see their... Like, I see their game plan, but they seem to not be that good. Yeah, reap Doom King when the Rise Art comes. It's gonna be so bad. It's gonna be so, so bad. That's a crazy going first hand. To be honest, I have everything I need. Do they have the Max C? I can bait the Ash Blossom. If you have the Max C, I'm called buying it. Do you have the Max C, my guy? I've seen a lot of better blind second decks. Yeah, like, it, there's for sure a lot better decks that you could do. So we do Fenrir here, Fenrir effect, see if they have an Ash Blossom. Doesn't seem like they do. So we add the other Fenrir. My friend is currently kicking my teeth with Ancient Warrior. Ancient Warrior seems fun, to be honest. You just summon a lot of warriors. They just keep coming and keep coming and they never stop. And uh, now we get the Ziamenir. Because with that, we can get a Barone to protect herself. So that way I can just... Oh, they surrendered. Oh, because we could have summoned the other Xiamin, make Barone, protect herself from Nib, and then we just do the punk and punk play still. What were they on? They should have they probably thought I was just on like punk. They were on Sprite? You you surrendered and you were on Sprite? 
You're kidding me, right? You're playing a super consistent deck. I'm sure it could have broken my board. Like, wait for it, guy. You might draw Dark Ruler no more. Never surrender games like that. You might draw the out. Like, when you're in Diamond, that's the thing. You don't... You gotta not get tilted. Try at least to play. Once the opponent has lethal on board, it's fine to surrender at this point. But before then, just try to play the game out. We're almost at Diamond Tree. Is it gonna be it, guys? Are we finally gonna be able to reach a goal? Do, 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 do. Going first, that's a good sign. If we don't break, we're fine. But I just spoke. Why did I speak? Why did I speak just now? Oh no. Oh no, this might be bad. This might be super bad. Okay, that's an okay hand. We can bait out the Ash Blossom with this. We got Droll for next turn. We got Droll for Maxi too. If they Maxi me. So we're gonna do this. Do they have an Ash Blossom? Doesn't seem like they do. And now they cannot Ash Blossom me anymore. Because I got the Deer Note. And I'm gonna use Deer Note, not Foxy Tune. To use it. So it's not Ashable, this one. They do have something, which is carrying me. It's not a nib. It might be a Nimperm. So if it's a Nimperm, I might... Both of those kind of lose to Imperm. So I'm still going to go my normal play. If it is an Imperm, it's going to be annoying. But I need to target before he shows if it's an Imperm or not. So that's the annoying part. Because I would love to be able to like choose the target of Deer Note after Resolution. Because now if I go for Foxy Tune, it's safer against Imperm because I can do a uh, Zombie Vampire from there. But if I do the Amin, it's the normal combo. So I think I'm going the Amin. And the Amin is safer against Bistral too. So I still don't know what he's on, which is a good thing. Doesn't seem to have any Imperm. Good, 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 good. Good thing we went for the combo there. Maybe he still has it, but at least we get the cards we need. We get Psychic Tracker here, add the Tracker to end. Now they're gonna know we're on Zombie Punk, kind of, Vampire Punk. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not a nib. I'm gonna believe it's not a nib in there. Because they add this interruption since the start of the game. So for sure it's not a nib, right? There's no way they have nib here. We make Immortal Dragon. We try to use the effect, now they might Imperm. It's a really big choke point. If you play against this deck, you Imperm the Immortal Dragon and they kind of lose. But they don't seem to have it. So with this, we can do Ghost Sleeper. Add to our hand the Ghost Fusion. And now Ghost Fusion might be a big Ash target, but we can always end on Pep if they Ash this. So we might be fine. I still don't know what they're on. I still do not know and it's cr driving me crazy. Uh, we're gonna use this and we're gonna use Shang-Chi from deck. Banishing this, summoning the Garura here. Uh, what do you have as an end trap? What could you be on? Like, what is it? I don't see what end trap could, they could be on that could like deal with what I'm doing. That they have an interruption every turn but they don't want to use it. That's not... Like, if it was a Droll, they probably would have used it already. Uh, if it was... Maybe it's... Uh, what is the name again? DD Crow? Because it's not a Bishul to... Cross out, they cannot have a cross out because cross out is a quick effect spe quick play spell. So it cannot be used on their first turn. So it cannot be cross out there. Uh, we're gonna do Beatrice here. It might be DD Crow. I know it's not a Bishul because they could... Yeah, he, it's not a Bishul. Oh, it had activated at the start too. So if it's a Maxi, they just decided not to use it? If it's a Nimperm, I don't remember if they added before I had a board. But what end trap could they be on that would be usable when I have nothing? Like, literally nothing. We're gonna use Garura here. We have no more bricks in the deck, so it's fine. Any draw is good. That's a crazy draw. I'm not gonna say no to that. Uh, then we can revive... Uh, we could revive the Zombie Vampire to try... We could revive the, the Amin. 
to make the zombie vampire try to go for more here. We can always end on a pet, maybe? Like, Mizuki here is resolving every time to get myself the Foxy Tune. So, right here. I know it's not a nib to you, because he had this interruption since the start of the game. We could have made Chaos Ruler here. That would have been good, too. I did not think about that. So, Chaos Ruler would have been really great here. To get myself more bodies, get myself another aid that can resummon itself. And mail more cards. Maybe it's some vampires along the way. They did have a nib. They're, they're crazy. Like, they're literally crazy. They did have a nib and everything else. That's stupid. Okay, so this guy held this thing super long. That's going to be a no okay nib token, though. So now we could do the sucker play, but that doesn't do much. Uh, we could actually do Italy, get ourselves a Ghost Ogre to try and get an interruption because Ghost Ogre is on field 2. So I think that's a play. Just synchro into a level 14, yeah. I could make Sucker, but Sucker's not gonna do much now that my graveyard is kind of useless. I don't have Boy Vo uh, Doom King either. So I think I'm just gonna eat a leaf for a Ghost Ogre to at least have it on the field. They still have an interruption. I still don't know what they're on. So get the Ghost Ogre on the field. We got all gold to protect it. Then we're gonna go end phase. So they add something all along. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. I'm so dumb. I'm so, so dumb. I forgot that Italy has an effect. I should have waited for their turn. I'm so stupid, guys. I never use like... Oh, they're on Labyrinth. That's why. That's annoying. That's really annoying. So they get themselves big welcome. They're gonna get the mummy, get the nib back to end. At least we can maxi in response to their thing. <laughs> You've done the same thing with Rescue Rabbit. I've done it sometimes too. We're not gonna we're gonna wait for Maxi because we know they're on lab now, but the nib was super unfortunate. Not letting ourselves like not letting us know that. So they're gonna do big welcome now. We're gonna chain Maxi. If they have the call by, they have the call by at this point. I can't do much. Like, I played to my out. I thought they, they do have the Ash, so they're just built different at this point. They're gonna met, get the mummy, they're gonna pop the field spell, probably. If they pop the field spell, I don't have much to deal with. If they try to pop the token, I have all gold to protect, at least. I lost the Nib here. Like, who runs Nib right now? It's really not that good, Nib. It, it's not a good card. So they're gonna use mommy, they're gonna destroy... What are they gonna destroy? Then they do Stovey. I cannot drill right now, then they have this. Like, they just have so much things. They have so much gas now. If I did not get Nib, I was fine. But this guy knew how to use this Nib. And the Stovey just made it so I never knew when... Uh, that he had a Nib. So we're gonna use all Ghoul here. Maybe that saves us. We're gonna use all Ghoul effect again. If we add the Ghost Ogre on the field, that might have been different. We could have popped the Lovely. Uh, we're gonna change the level. We don't have Zombie Vampire anymore, so we don't need a level 8 anytime soon. At least we still have a token that is hard for them to deal with. Like, the Primal Being token is big. And they don't seem to have a way to deal with it other than Lovely Labyrinth. So we might be good on that end. Two, two. So let's see what they get to. They are thinking. They can go into Chaos Ruler here, actually. I did not think about that. They can go into Chaos Ruler. And uh, not Chaos Ruler. Uh, Chaos Angel. And that would be really bad. Chaos Angel kind of destroys me. They just banish the Elgul again. And I can't do much. But we might be good. We have some draws that do it, but not many. Like, a nib there kind of stopped our old combo. If we have a way to banish Shang-Chi again, we are going to be good. If we only made, like, if I made the Chaos Ruler, I would have been in a way better position. That was completely on my own, that. Like, if I made a Chaos Ruler, I would have had something to get myself effect. You would have nibbed maybe there again. But at least I would have been able to 
Uh, next turn, do Chaos Ruler to get Shang-Chi banished and get myself more stuff. But they just have everything they need. Like, Stovey and Shen Draglier are just too much. They had two furniture in their hand, plus Nib. It's a bit much to deal with, to be honest. Oh, and they had a welcome, too. They just didn't want to set the welcome. Like, for sure. What are you getting there? Like, are you going to set a welcome to you? Can welcome set itself again? Uh, no. So they're going to get Labyrinth set up. Okay. Oh, get my old gold to the grave. Thank you. Because now I get Immortal Dragon again. Thank you, this guy's just giving me stuff. I'm getting back into the game, guys. He's giving me stuff, he's not reading my card. I want to build a Mechanical deck, but I get nothing but blue eye, but Galaxy Eyes card, Oh, I want to build a Galaxy Eyes, to be honest. It, this seems fun. So right there, we're gonna activate Immortal Dragon. Sending to the graveyard at this point. I kind of want to send to the graveyard the familiar. Because that gets me more stuff. I get a 5. I could summon the ghost here. Make Chaos Ruler if I want to. I know they have big welcome there. I don't know why it's not activatable. But they have big welcome there. I could make... I think it's still the better play. I summon the Vampire Ghost. I can still send it for the other thing. But now I can make Chaos Ruler with those two. And maybe I hit another Vampire out of this. There's a lot of Vampires in there. So maybe I get lucky. And Chaos Ruler, they cannot stop it anymore, so we use Chaos Ruler here. Get ourselves more mills. If they try to pop anything on my field, I still have all gold in the grave, so that's great. Uh, we can get the Shang-Chi back now to get ourselves another mill to get the Doom King. They probably want... Let's go! Let's go! Oh, I did not think I would win this game. We got them two games in a row, and we won both of these. That's amazing. We're rank 3. We're diamond rank 3 right there. So on that note, I know some people wanted to do some viewer So is there any people that wants to do some viewer today? We could switch some viewer there. If anyone wants in chat, we could do some viewer I don't know if they're still here. I don't remember who it was. But if anyone wants to do some viewer we could go for some. It's been a while. And I reached my goal for today. So if anyone wants to have some fun and do a view roll, I have other decks. I can change decks too if you don't want to face the zombie world, a uh, vampire build. But if no one comes, I'm just going to continue on with the ranked. See how it goes. Uh, but for now, I'm going to just set up the room. Oh, my music stopped. Let's continue on. And like, I just, when I came home, this music right now, the Pokemon theme. When I came home, I just felt super nostalgic. Oh, the room code is not up to date right now. I can post it in chat right now. I need to update the command. So, one second. I'm just gonna do that real quick. Uh, room code here. Then this goes here. There. Show the room code up top. And I'm gonna go to Nightbot while we do that. Uh, Nightbot command then the room code gets updated right here to get herself more stuff so does anyone want to duel right now if there's no one i'm just gonna go on i'm gonna keep the room open so anyone that wants to join at any point feel free to just type exclamation point join and you're gonna be able to join the queue but there does not seem to be anyone that wants to duel right now so i think we're gonna keep the climb we are climbing slowly we went back to Diamond 5 not long ago, and now we're halfway through Diamond. So maybe, maybe Opium, Opium. Let me get some water, and we go again. Let's see how it goes. Let's see if we can make this happen, guys. Oh, that was like both those nibs. The first nib was like just a guy messing up. You're turning on the game right now? Okay, I'm gonna just do one quick rank game, and then we're gonna go to the duel. So right after this game, I'm gonna go right with you. We are gonna go second. Oh, they have the cross sheep. The cross sheep mate is so good. It's just so good, guys. I love it so much. Look at this. It's so cute. And it... Oh, it makes the best sound. It's, it's the best. I started with all gold so many times. Uh, we're gonna maxi on there. Maybe they have 
It's gonna be hard. Going second against Strap Trick is never easy. I don't have that many back removal. So it's always gonna be hard. But at least now, if they want to make Sarah, they're gonna need to give me some cards. And we have the Fenrir. Fenrir is pretty good on them. It's gonna bait out one of the trap card. They get themselves the Mantis now. The Mantis is gonna add a Trap Tricks monster. Maybe they're not gonna special. Maybe they're just gonna handle that. Okay, no. If they get this card, they for sure are gonna special. Are they gonna special on my turn? Uh, you can add... If this card is special... Okay, so they make Sarah now. Then do they have Oltea? Did they start with everything? So we have Italy to bait out an Ash Blossom. We have Xiamen to continue to play. We have Fenrir to summon and then make Pepir. Ooh, that's good. That's good. We cannot Ash this, sadly, because it sets directly. So they get a Lotea. At least that's a weaker play. Now they make a Lotea. They summon it here. I don't think they can deck me out, so I should be fine, to be honest. We get the Deer Note. That's kind of annoying there. We did not want to get the Deer Note. But we can Ash Blossom this at least, making sure they don't draw... Uh, it's drawing, right? They don't draw a Trap Tricks monster. So at least there's that. They can still make a 4. They can make a rank 4 now. And they're gonna set a card. We drew Zombie World here with all ghouls, so at least we can protect from destruction. But unless, if I remember, like, do they say every single trap card? Yes, they do. Because Bottomless destroyed the monster first, so we can counter Bottomless with all gold, to be honest. Like, if we play the Zombie World first, we summon anything. If they have Bottomless Trap Hole, because it destroys first, we can all gold protect from the destruction, and it does not banish. That is one of the weird things. With Bottomless Trap Hole, it does not only banish, it destroys too. Uh, so he's gonna special summon another time. He's giving me a lot and a lot of cards. He must be confident in his trap card there. Because I don't see how this wins, to be honest. Against, like, a super big end? That's annoying to draw again. Can I stop drawing my bricks and, like, draw my starters? I didn't draw a single vampire other than ghost right now. Like, ghost, I don't want to draw it. So they make Reflesia, so they're gonna have two traps right here. We have the call by the Grave for... If they want to get back this card, I know this card is really annoying. Getting the maxi again. So next turn, we can deal with the maxi here. They are going to maxi me. So we are going to call by the grave the maxi. This time, you're not going to get the maxi on your turn. We don't get the maxi for the other thing. The banish one, but that's fine. Uh, we got to remember next turn, if we get to the next turn, our maxi is offline too. I got a free Reflesia from my local card shop. I think I was purchasing Dark Magician Girl. Ooh. And the thing is, like... Uh, trap Tricks are super cheap in the TCG right now. Just because of how Trap Trick works. And that they have structured decks for them. They're super, super cheap. So if you want to build Trap Tricks IRL, they're not expensive. And they can hold their own. So we are going to get ourselves... At this point, do I even want the Xiamen? I don't think they have anything to contest this, so we could try and check. We cannot do the other combo, so I think I'm going for Tracker there. Because if I don't, you build Branded RL. Is Branded as expensive RL as it is in Master Duel? They are going to do Altea. They're going to special summon a monster. Sure. We cannot Maxi now. We, you know what we should have done? We should have maxied and chained of our own called by the grave. That would have been the play. So they summon this card, sure. Then we summon this. Oh, we screwed up. I forgot about Fenrir there. I forgot about Fenrir. If they floodgate this, we're kind of in trouble. What are they gonna get to now? We can still do stuff, but I for sure screwed up there. That was really bad on my part. That was super bad on my part. So they're gonna do this. That's fine. We can still get all ghoul on the field. Then go into... They get a bottomless. Bottomless doesn't do anything against us because we got all ghoul. So... Yeah, I should have done Fenrir first. I forgot. I always forget that Fenrir needs a, an empty field. I'm so dumb. 
So we're gonna go there, try to punch into this. They're gonna be like, whoa, what you doing? Then we use all ghoul here, protect ourselves, then summon the all ghoul again. If they have bottomless for this, it's gonna be annoying. But I don't know what they could be on. It's semi expensive, but I got the Mirajid and Lubellion from Structure Deck. Ooh. Wait, we cannot make Sucker? Both of these are zombie monsters. Why can't. Oh, we're in battle phase. That's what I... what's happening. Uh, we can make Sucker here. Or we could make IP, but I definitely screwed up. I had this game, to be honest. We could make Sucker, but if we make Sucker, we give them a draw. Uh, if we make Sucker at least, it's protected from stuff and it gets the old gold back into the grave. If only I had a Fenrir on board, right guys? If only I had a Fenrir there. So we get Sucker here. We don't want to resummon their stuff. And our Maxi is offline this turn. We gotta remember Maxi is offline now. Uh, I forgot. I forgot that Fenrir needs an empty field. I forgot! I'm sorry, I forgot! So they're gonna set a card. Are they gonna try to punch into me? Because if they do, I can just all ghoul to summon my card. And because it's in the damage step, I don't think they can respond with a trap hole. Battle phase, they punch into the sucker. Sure, give me a draw. Give me a draw. I'm happy with this. They did not read all ghoul there. All ghoul summon itself. Then summon itself here. We draw a card from sucker. We're gonna change the level. We don't need an 8. They can bottomless? I didn't know if they were able to bottomless. They can Replesia, so they probably are gonna bottomless this, I would guess. What is this? I'm one monster from your friend's graveyard. Take a monster, destroy it. Then if you have a trapple. Sure. But Sucker should Oh no, it's not from the grave, so Sucker didn't trigger. Then they are gonna banish probably the old ghoul again. Yeah, they banish the old ghoul, so I don't have an old ghoul protection anymore. But old ghoul did its work. And we might be good because now they can make Zeus all they want. But they don't have mats for Zeus, and Zeus clears their board. So if they Zeus, I'm happy with this. So what did they, they get? They get Olothea. So we are gonna maxi and chain to Olothea. They have a main two now. We can always tribute summon the Z I mean, if we need to. We are gonna chain Maxi to the Olothea to get ourselves a draw at least. Drawing the other Z I mean, is really good. They don't have a Fleege anymore. I know they don't have Bottomless. So this time for sure, this is gonna work, right? They have this card here, I think. I could even just go go Sleeper to try and go more. Uh, if I go Dear Note, if I go Ghost, it's not going to do much. I think I'm going to go for the z in again. It's going to be scary, but it's a zombie steal. So unless they have another Floodgate Trap hole, I should be good. I use z in here. Add to my hand. They don't seem to have Gravedigger too. I checked before. I'm pretty sure they don't have z uh, Not z -Amin, I mean Gravedigger Trap hole. We're going to see now if they Gravedigger the Maxi. It would be the best target to Grave Digger. So they're gonna get this, get another card, but I still think we win this. I still think we're in a good position there. Uh, what is this? In response to an activation, then your opponent can manage one card from their hand. That's fine. Come on! That's annoying. That's super annoying. I needed that. I needed the deer note there. Well, get tribute. Does it need? You can gain life point. You can use. You can tribute one punk monster. It does not specify a face up punk monster. So we can use Foxy Tune to tribute summon the face down Z Amin to get ourselves a pep here. So they are gonna do that. Get another trap trap hole. I don't remember the trap hole they had before. I know they added Olothea, and they have a bottomless here. So I know they have bottomless, I know they have Olothea. Uh, we probably do this here. Tribute a punk that should be able to tribute my face down punk. Yeah, yeah, let's go! It's working, guys! It's working! 
getting rid of the face down. They have a bottom less though. They just got the grave digger, so they did have the grave digger. But at this point, I think I just lose. Like I don't have a normal anymore. Uh, is this only once per battle? Because we can try something, but it's gonna die to bottomless. Uh, but if they bottomless me. Because if we make this, we make a 1.2k. What is this? The first time uh, each insect. It is not destroyed, so I think I'm gonna do that. Ziamin here, target the Ziamin, boost the attack again. Oh, we can just do. This here then. I have a play then there. Like, I didn't know I could use the other effect of Foxy Tune, so we pitched this to the grave, and now we have a play. We might be good, guys. We just summoned this here. The final Ziamin. It's the only time I'm gonna be happy to be running triple Ziamin there. Uh, question. How does Trap Tricks deal with... They do Zeus, right? To deal with... Avermax? That's the only way they deal with it, right? Because I could go for... Ghost Fusion, get a red Sucker to get myself more. They're probably gonna bottomless my stuff. But at least I get two bodies. So I think I'm still going for it. That's the most value play I can do. So Megara from this. And from Shang-Chi. Zeus doesn't exist. It, they for sure are running Zeus. Like, it, ain't no way a trap trick is not running Zeus. So now we use Shang-Chi here. It's gonna banish the... Ash Blossom. I kind of want to go Sleeper still. Because Ghost Sleeper could get me the all gold back. Ghost Sleeper could actually get me the all gold back next turn. They are thinking of bottomlessing the Garura here. So that's a bottomless. So we don't have any more interruption to deal with this turn. We can send the Mizuki to the grave with the Shang-Chi. Or we could send a monster. Like if we send the vampire cards, we can do the pop. If we send the... Uh, Mezuki, we don't have good targets revived though. So I think the play is actually to send the familiar here. Familiar pitch goes, summon itself. Then we have a 6, a 3, and a 1. That makes a 10. If I am good at math, that makes a 10 there, guys. So this could make IP, right? IP and Fascinator, so that's fine. I don't really care about Fascinator. I could resummon this girl to my field then if this card is special summon you can target one special summon monster your opponent control banish it also doing this say okay so uh one of their banished monsters so we could deal with some of their cards here so if we get here they have maxi they have alotea so if we go uh fascinator we can steal this girl then banish the uh, Olotea, then steal another girl from Fascinator, going to... I think that's the play I want to go for. Baron is good? But how do we deal with Baron, though? Like, let me do the first play I do. So, let's do Vampire Ghost. I'm sorry, guys, it's a long duel. I said I was going to duel you all after this, but it's a long duel now. It's going on. We're fighting for our lives right now. We can do Voivod here, that would do the same, and that gets me into Pep. And I think Pep is lethal here. So I think I'm getting Voivod here. Getting Voivod, then... They have two monsters, right? Yeah, they do. So we get ourselves the Vampire Ghost there. My phone is low and I'm working, I'm watching from mobile. I'm not near a charger, so I'll be in the room waiting for my turn to duel. I'm gonna do you first, just to be sure you don't lose your turn. Uh, we are going to do this and this to get into Voivod. I know they have no interruption there, so I'm pretty sure I can kill them. I am pretty sure they are dead. Because we target those two. Summon them to my field. If they are not, they are so far behind. We don't want to use that. It's negated anyway. So we make this with those two. Decide. Right here. We are not going to give them their small girl back. 
And we are gonna do this guy here. We're just gonna go fast with the timer just to make sure we don't lose the timeout. Then we special summon. Ooh, why not a Fenrir? I'm down. Special summon a Fenrir to banish something else. So we can banish a field spell. Then we go into Pep with those two. And we are in a really, really good situation. Because now, hey, welcome in, Ishokan. Thanks for the follow. Let me do just some quick math right now. One second. Oh, it's there. So if I do uh, 8,000 minus 800. Okay, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. Uh, we're going to banish this. We're going to banish the field spell. Then we go battle. I'm running out of time. Pep effect here. Gain attack. Then it punch over this and this should be lethal. Let's go! I did not think I would win this one. I did not think I would win this one. And now we're going to transition out to some Viewdles. That was crazy. Uh, Wolf Demon, are you okay if I do let me pop up first? Because they're on mobile. Uh, they were there before too. So are you okay, uh, Wolf, if I do let me pop, pop up first so they don't lose battery before our duels end? That's fine. Okay, okay. Good job grinding out. That was such a hard game. Like, I played my brains out there. It was such a good one. But do you want me to play this deck or do you want me to play another deck? Like, do you have any preference? Do you prefer to not play against this, or do you want to play against something else? Anything? Okay, I'm gonna keep this deck. I really love this deck. It's my baby. I built it myself, and it's really, like, bring the best. Okay, let's go. That's my best deck right now. It's the deck I like to play the most, and it's the deck I enjoy the most, like, just the combos and all. I see the line. This is the deck I built myself, so I just know everything about it. Like... I did not dead deck this deck. I looked around at reference, like I saw what people were doing with uh, Zombie Punk. I saw what some people were doing with Vampires at the time. But this deck is pretty much my own brew there. That's not a great hand. But we can always end on a Brone. Or we can end on... You have something. Shifter is annoying. Shifter is really annoying there. Because that turns off this card here. So we're gonna use Fenrir here. Non-meta deck for you. Okay, I'm probably gonna go to my Sue Ship then. Because Sue Ship is my go-to non-meta deck. And then if we just do... If you're gonna shift in me there, I might just summon Benshee because I'm scared of the birds here. Like, this is as good as anything in hand, so... I'm just gonna summon Benshee to be able to banish it. You still have something? Come on, my guy, you still have something? So, next turn, let's see what they're on. It's time to see. We got a Fenrir, we got a Benshee. I gotta remember to summon the Fenrir in defense. That's one of my small, like, mistakes that I make all the time. You gotta summon the Fenrir in defense. What are you targeting? The Fenrir, I'm guessing, right? Yeah, that was obvious. So Fenrir is offline. Starting Shifter Infinite Impermanence. Oh, Magistus. That's a deck I haven't seen in a while. Uh, oh, it needs to go to the graveyard. You're kidding me? Oh, that's annoying. Shifter literally shuts down my deck completely then. That's super annoying. The two entraps I drew were like cards that I needed to go to the grave. That's annoying. We might be dead from that. The shifter might get... Oh no, you're an Exo Sister? Oh god, this is my hand, guys. Exo Sister is so bad for me. This is literally my counter there. Like, they, they love the grave stuff happening from the graveyard. And I do stuff from the graveyard all the time. So I might be done so. I can do Banshee. Banshee's not going to trigger the... Uh, yeah, it's not moving any card out of the graveyard. So Banshee's still going to be fine to activate anyway. Un until it's in the grave. So if it's to go into the grave, I'm probably going to go... Okay, so you make Caspitel. Uh, using a certain monster. And a different special monster from the graveyard for the rest of this turn. That's fine. 
I would love to be able to fire Fenrir, but sadly I can't. Uh, you're gonna add Marta, right? BRB, okay, I'm gonna wait for you for the next duel. So I'm guessing you're gonna add Marta here. Getting yourself the Marta, then you can go into the other one. But guys, we reached a 400 followers, so do you guys want anything special for the 400 special? Like, do you have anything in mind? I'm thinking maybe going, grabbing myself some tins to, like, open some cards on stream, but I could do something different. If you guys want anything different, like, I was thinking of buying myself a Darkwing Blast. Because I want Fenrir, I want some Bishol, and Darkwing Blast is available next to me. So, do you guys have any idea of what I could do for a special for 400? Uh, you can target one card, you have control, banish it, that's fine. So Fenrir is gone. I'm not dead right now. Uh, add one exist sister, spell or trap. Okay, let's see what I can do. The shifter was really rough on me. It turned off everything I could. Shifting to Imperm, if I only had Imperm, I could have maybe played a bit. But if you didn't have Imperm, I could have played a bit, but both of these together, like it turned off my end trap in hand, it turned off my other end trap, it you Imperm my Okay, so you're gonna go Magnifica, that's fine. Okay, you go battle phase, you punch into the Banshee. At least my Banshee can still resolve from the grave, so I'm still gonna let it go to the grave. Oh no, it's not going to the grave, I'm dumb! There's a shifter in play! I'm dumb, guys. I'm so, so stupid. Oh, uh, well, I saved myself 1,000 damage. Uh, I saved myself 1.8k damage. That might come in play later on. Three trap cards is gonna be rough. You probably have Returnia. You probably have other stuff, too. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go Fenrir. Fenrir summon here. Then, what is that? Activate a card effect, can return one exist monster, you own attached to this card. Okay, so you're gonna do this. This one is gonna banish a card. I think I'm gonna go Ogre this. Just to get it out of the field. Because now you need to dodge it away. So that's pretty good. You need to dodge it away, then I max it. I can finally play my hand traps that I had this whole time. Finally, we can play cards, guys. I still don't know if it's gonna be enough, to be honest. I don't think it's gonna be enough, because they're gonna lock my graveyard, they're gonna lock everything. So, now they make both of these. They make my Kaelis, so I get a card at least. Drawing this card was not good. Then this banishes the Fenrir, that's the second Fenrir gun. And I don't have anything else to play. Like, I drew Maxi into Maxi. That's rough. Let's go end phase. Welcome back. We're still in the duel. I'm getting like game done. He's popping up on me. He's completely like styling on me right now. I think I'm just gonna maxi in the draw phase. Why not? Show you that I drew the maxi from the maxi <laughs> at this point. If only I drew a playable card this tur that turn. But I'm pretty sure I'm dead. Yeah, you go Vadis, you make again the Magnifica, and Magnifica is lethal. If you can go to Magnifica, I'm just dead. Because it's 2.8k damage times 2, so that's 5.6. And there's no way I'm living this. I don't have any more end traps. Unless I don't run Nebi in this either. So the only end traps I could draw into right now is either Droll or Ash Blossom. So that wouldn't work. Ah, that was a good ad crack. Let's see, let's see. That's not a card I needed. But yeah, I'm pretty sure if you just make, like, Magnifica, you have way more than lethal. Like, the this card here. Because it can double attack. Oh, that's lethal even. Troll would be funny. I did so many end traps there, and the thing is, their shifter completely shut down my end traps. And after that, I, I had a uh, Fenrir on field to deal with their stuff, but it drew an Imperm. So GG, really well played there. Really well played. You completely shut me off. Like, do you want to know? When you played that uh, Shifter, I was so sad because my end was 
Uh, Ghost Ogre that needs to go to the graveyard. Maxi that needs to go to the graveyard. And then you infirmed my only interruption that I had. I was like, no! I'm getting styled on! So Kellen Knight is going to be your turn. Oh yeah, you wanted a more casual deck. So let's change deck to the... Uh, uh, let's go for the Sioux Ship. I think it's still legal. I don't know. I didn't change it in a while. So let's go for the Sioux Ship. Let's have a good duel. And then we're going to go... You had a really good end. You sure did. Like, you had everything you needed. And I started pretty bad. I started with a Mizuki in my hand. And a Ghost, but no other Vampire to use it. So we're going to do next right now twice. Because two players were... Here? So, you're gonna be the next one, I, I Shokan. Oh, I just, like, the first time I said your name, I didn't realize, but it doesn't mean I summon. Because I know Shokan is like summon just from people thinking like Fusion, Shokan, and stuff like that. So, does it tell me, you made, you made me go first? Oh, God. Oh, God. What do I do, Jet? What do I do? I don't know. Uh, we're gonna painful decision. It's gonna be a hard choice. It's gonna be really hard. I'm sorry. Uh, we're gonna get ourselves the Shari Red. I don't want to like use all of my small little guys, so we're gonna use Uni. We have a pretty good opening hand, so we can special summon the Uni here. We can special summon the Red. We are not gonna sink her right away. We are gonna special summon this guy here. Get ourselves the... This thing, make this a 5. Then we... This is gonna allow us to stack on top of our hand, our deck. A sous ship? Oh, we add to our hand. Never mind, I thought it was something else. I knew... I didn't remember that it was just like... Stacking on top of the deck. Let's try it. Let's see if I get lucky. There's three more Shari. Yes, sushi! No, we did not get lucky here. We can still end on this guy here. Uh, what is it? Oh, yeah, we're going to put him in attack. It's so weak in defense. So we're going to need the attack here. And we're going to draw a card. I want cards. I like cards. That's pretty good. That was a really, really good tab deck. Really, really good. So we're going to summon this. Then use this effect. To stack on top of the deck, at this point, I kind of want the trap card. Because I feel I'm going to need follow-up for next turn. So, we get ourselves the other sous ship. I'm going to stick to more sous ship base. I, I know I could have done like... Uh, F0, Draco Future, but I don't really want to do that. I play the deck to play the sous ship, not to play something else. So, that's what I'm going to do. We have two two ship on field. Uh, they don't do much, but we have two ship. Maybe that's enough. Let's see what they are on. They made me go first, so that's kind of scary. Hey, Flan, would you mind if I stole your food? No, that's my food. Don't do this. Leave my food alone. I need it. I'm hungry. Set a card. That's spooky. That's really spooky. Set another card. Set three what are you on what could you be on right there uh i'm gonna wait on my trap then i don't need to use it right now let's see this card does not really do anything here i still think i'm gonna turtle you to be honest like i'm scared of your monster so let's see what you have oh it's Charmer! Ooh! I did not see that coming, to be honest. So we are gonna go battle. Punch over this. I wanna punch over this because I wanna be able to destroy one of your back row from the damage that I deal. So we're gonna use this here. Gonna punch this one. That's the first one you popped. Okay, so right here. Then we're gonna punch twice. For some damage. Oh, boo boo game. Well, we still have another attack. I did not expect the boo boo game, to be honest. Now, I could make Zeus, but that's lame. 
We all know that's really lame, so we're not gonna go for that. We're gonna let them play. Like, it's super lame to go to do... They, they told me they don't want to play, like... They're playing Charmer. I'm not gonna seuss them. So, let's see what they, if they can recover from this. It's a pretty threatening board. Too big sushi. Let's see. I don't have much in terms of interruption, to be honest. Set a card. Then summon the familiar bosses. I'm not gonna max eat them either. That would be just so mean. Battle? Hey, you can special summon. Uh, when you do, you can add on level 3. This card is special summon. Okay. Okay, so end turn, that's fine. Oh, that's a pretty good card, to be honest. We can do this now then. Get ourselves the two ship. Oh! I'm gonna let you special summon. I could be mean and just negate both of your cards, but I'm gonna let you play a bit. It's lame if I just get, if I'm just the one that gets to play the game. So that's what you can do. If they play the secret village or magician left, and it's just getting started. Ah, my hand! My sushi! My sushi, how could you? Let's add a sushi. We need one of the main ones, so choose one. Anyone. Go on. Pick a card. Any card. Uh, we can actually special summon this card. That's really funny. Special summon this, then we exceed into... This guy again. He's back! He never left! He never left! Uh, we are gonna do this first, then... Do this second. Stack a sushi ship on top of the deck. So... It's like they never leave, guys. It, it's not like all men. They, they don't leave. Those ones don't leave. Uh, we're gonna add this here, and then draw it. Oh, surprise! I drew the sushi ship that I thought I was gonna draw. Then we're gonna special summon a Shira. And I think I can kill you this turn. So we do this, we use this effect. Special summon the Shari here. Right there, and then we can place on top of the deck. The two from the grave, I'm gonna place them. I want this on top first. I don't remember the order. Okay, so that seems to be the wrong order. What I did seems to be the wrong order completely. We're gonna get our final ship to protect ourselves from destruction now. While we have the field spell on field, so that's pretty good. Get ourselves more damage too. And... Get ourselves another sioux ship. And we add the field spell to our hand. We don't really need it. We could normal uh, play the other field spell and then normal the sioux ship. But I, there's no point. We just go battle. We punch... Over this one. This cannot attack directly because it wasn't make wi made with the yellow one. Then we use this effect in battle phase. We pop this guy. And then pop this. And we punch for game. GG. Beaten by food. The best sushi around. Thanks for the game. I would have loved to see your charmer do more of it. They seem interesting, like, they, they steal monster, right? So, Ishokan, it's your turn. Do you want to face my vampire, or do you want to face something else? <laughs> you defended your food well. I'm, I'm not letting you take my food. It's mine! All mine, I cook it myself! So, Ishokan, uh, are you still here? Do you want me to play any deck? Because most of the time, when I do view duels here, I let people... Uh, choose the deck I'm using. If they want to play... You feel like defeating Blade? <laughs> let's go, Vampire. Okay, let's go. It's like a, my own brew of Vampire. It's Vampire Punk with Ghost Fusion and Giant. I love the deck. It's a bit bricky. But I love it so much. But yeah, most of the time here, if we do view rules, if you have, like, if you want to play a lower powered format, I have other decks. I have a deck that is literally triple beam soldier and just equip card. So I have like a different variety of decks. You saw my sous ship, which is pretty weaker power level. So 
I'm down to adapt to the power level of the deck you're playing, just to make the game more fun. It's always more fun when it's not a blowout and one player can play and the other one can play. So if you ever want to play like a different deck and oh, Performapal, that's interesting. We're going to Ash that because I know that's like the best Ash target I can get. Speaking of food, I think you're food ready. What are you getting for food right now? Yeah, Pendulum Summon. Ben, best deck! <laughs> Do you remember the trip? It's been a while, right? Oh yeah, that seemed to have been the right hit to do. Like, hitting that was so rough for them. I know that it's their best normal summon. Drawing that was kind of bad for me, but I might have a play. If they don't have Ash, we have a way to deal with Ash, but we don't have a way to deal with Ash and Maxi. So let's see if they have Ash Blossom. They do. At least we drew the Call by the Grave. Did you guys know that I'm so good at drawing Call by the Grave that even in TCG I draw the Call by most of the time and it's at 1 in TCG. So we're gonna banish the Ash Blossom just to make sure we can... Because if we don't get this, we don't have a play for the turn. We literally have nothing. We have to send the Familiar to the Grave. Then... Yeah, 400 followers. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I really don't to be honest. It came a bit fast, and I, I'm not sure what I want to do. Uh, I think I'm just gonna... Do this, get myself into... Food is not done yet. What is the food you're getting? Because if we get this, we can get ourselves... The Chaos Ruler. Master Rank Run. Well, I'm doing that most of the time. I was thinking mostly, like... I've been thinking of getting myself a Darkwing Blast box. So I'm thinking of maybe... Um, getting myself a box of Darkwing Blast. Then we go for the... Like, we open some boxes. We could open some of the new collection too, see what we get. I, it could be some card opening, but if you guys have any other idea, I'm open to suggestion. Uh, we could add the Grace here. That's not great. We could add the Voivode. Uh, I think I'm gonna add the Voivode for follow up. Oh, I shouldn't have added the Voivode. Oh no, I can do something else. I tribute summon here. Tribute summon over this. Get myself the Shadow Vampire. Then Shadow Vampire gets myself the Retainer. You have an Imperm. That's annoying. I needed that. Hmm. 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 <laughs> That's going to be rough on me. Well, I just got to go battle then and punch at you guy and hope you don't have anything else. Next turn, we might be good. But we for sure played bad this game. But if you guys have something your uncle's making, ooh, sounds tasty. But if you guys have any suggestion for the 400, for now it's gonna be card pack opening, probably on Friday. But if you guys have anything else you want me to do, like I'm open to suggestion. We could do some some small karaoke too on Friday. That could be a way to celebrate, like a small karaoke uh, with card opening too. And we could continue on the Master Rank. Like, I don't have time right now to do a big, like, 12-hour stream where I try to do rank. And I don't think that's a good idea to rank, to be honest. To play for so long in the same day, I don't... I do not think it's a good idea. Okay, drawing this is kind of bad, but we can go... It's either Normal Summon, go Stoker, go into... Chaos Ruler and pray. Or Normal Summon, go Sleeper. And go into Sucker, get myself the Ghost Fusion, and continue from there. Those are the two play. I think I prefer the Ghost Sleeper here. Because the Chaos Ruler kind of just dies to an Imperm again, and they might have it. So we never know. We're going to play around it. We're going to go into Sucker here with those two. Sadly, you don't have monsters in your grave, so I cannot resummon something to get a draw, maybe to fix my hand. But you don't have Ash, right? You never have Ash Blossom, right? You don't have Called by either. Nah, 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 nah. You don't have it. Okay, that doesn't do anything. 
That does not do anything for me. The abandoned jungle sleeper, that's fine. The effect already resolved. So that's completely fine. The imperm doesn't matter to you. Like, that's fine. I can just continue playing. I'm gonna I'm lower life point than you by a little. Not by much. But I'm a bit lower than you in life points. So I should be fine. Then you get the ghost fusion. Then the Magna Mud's gonna trigger, but I don't think I'm gonna use Ghost Ogre here because I think Ghost Ogre is gonna be better on a later turn. Gotta remember the Infirm Column. You don't want to play into the Infirm Column, guys. This is a mistake that I made so many times. Did you guys know that I... When I was playing Fluffle, I played Polymerization and Frightful Fusion in the same turn? In the same Infirm Column. It felt so bad. It felt horrible. <laughs> We're gonna go, go, go Shang-Chi here and I feel we should be good. We can send the graveyard at this point. I kind of want to send the Banshee just so we clear the zombie world out of the way. We could send the all ghoul punch here, summon the all ghoul though. Then do the Beatrice play, send the Banshee afterwards. That would be a play that gets me another body on the field, which could be good. I kind of like it, to be honest. The thing is, I don't deal with this, but I'm kind of down for that. So we get rid of our battle phase, but that way we get an all goal on field. So we protect with all goal, we get the all goal here, we summon it back. Then all goal here, I think I'm gonna change the level? No, no, no. I don't want to change because if I steal her monster, I want to be able to make Zombie Vampire. So right here, we're gonna go into Beatrice with those two. Your Apex 316. Okay, okay. I might forget when I get to you, so just remind me when I get there. We are gonna send this to the grave. Right now, I think I'm gonna send the Banshee. Because I kind of need the Banshee in the grave. Then Gerra might draw me something good. But we need the Zombie World set up. It is important now that we have the Zombie World set up. The Doom King is not going to work in our favor sadly. So I don't even know if I keep the Beatrice on the field. Like I could go IP but that's not going to do much. It's going to be an IP protected by all ghouls. So they're not going to be able to punch into it. But still that's not Great. So I think I'm just stopping here and hoping for next turn. I have place for next turn. But now they get another Bishol, which is annoying. Uh, that's going to prevent us from sending the Doom King to the grave. Because if we do, we just play into their Bishol so much. Oh, it's not a Bishol. It's not a Bishol. So we can just do Beatrice and draw phase then. I was expecting a Bishol there. I was so expecting a Bishol. So we're gonna send this to the grave, send the Shang-Chi, then we summon the Doom King. They do have the Ash Blossom now. Okay, so our board doesn't have interruption right now, which is kind of annoying. I don't think we're gonna die though. And next turn we might be able to get back from this if they don't make the craziest board ever. I know they have a Pendulum Monster, they can make a Baron. Baron is gonna be annoying. But we can force the Baron negate with the end trap we have. So I'm guessing this is a Baron. No, it's beyond the pendulum. It's gonna backfire a bit. Because now they set their scale and we can just go Sogar this. Is this the second match? It is the third one. We did pop up, we did Wolf, and we are on Ishokan. You're the next one. So we pop the Beyond the Pendulum, that's gonna stop their Pendulum summoning a bit. So maybe that saves us? I know Beyond the Pendulum is crazy because it allows them to do a lot more. So they get this, they have another scale, they can Pendulum summon for one. And does this have... If an Odai control is destroyed, that doesn't do much. You can target one, perform ball or Odai's cards in your graveyard, add it to your hand. Okay, so do they have another Isles of Perform Fall? They do not. So neither of these do anything. They can Pendulum Summon for the Skullcrabat Joker though. They did not normal yet, so they can do like Skullcrabat Joker, then go into the Toon Fork, right? 
Which one is it again? It's the... Where is it? Where is it? This one. Ammonizing Magician. I know this is a good one. Wait, this did not, did not work? Oh, it's only when it's no mold. Oh, I see. So now we kind of just probably want to... Normal Summon Scarlet Scourge over... Something? We could do the Tracker again, like do... Tracker, go into IP, punch, get the all goal again. We... They have two monsters there. So we could do Voivode too. I kind of like that more. Let's tribute summon Voivode here. So this here, this here. Tribute summon the big boy. He's here. He's here, guys. I'm gonna get the Bistral and the Ash. I uh, Making Pep doesn't matter that much right now. But getting a 6 on the field... We can activate this. I don't think I have a target for it. Oh, it's negated anyway. Oh, we can do this because Ash is a tree. I even I didn't even think about this. So we can start with this one here. Do a targeted send. You want to roll your vampire? Okay, let's go. I love this deck. I love this deck so, so much. I feel so attached to this deck. I'm going to be sad when Arizar drops and this deck's not playable anymore. So we can make... I'm not going to make Barone. Uh, we could make Chaos Ruler though. Chaos Ruler is really good here. So let's make Chaos Ruler with those two. I would like to see Chaos Ruler gone, to be honest. I do not mind if Chaos Ruler is gone or not. I don't use it as often. It's most of the time as an extender. But I don't need Chaos Ruler. Ghost is really good. Add to my hand. I think I'm going to add the Ghost. I hit every single vampire I would want. I will be playable once the Rizard gets banned in a couple of months. Yeah, probably. And now we can do... Mezuki to get ourselves. Uh, do we have the... We have a tree, so we could go into... Uh, we don't have a two tuners, though. If I was running Chaos Angel, I could do something here. But I'm not. I don't have space in this deck. So I think I'm gonna just go Mizuki here. Mizuki's gonna get me back the... Like, does Ghost Ogre even do anything? I think I'm getting back this. Then I can do Cast Ruler Banish the Shang-Chi. I can do so many plays here. I got the, I, I got the keys to the kingdom, guys. I do this for another draw. Then I go into... I could actually go into IP right away there. Like I go into IP with this and this. Then resummon with Chaos Ruler and I save my Chaos Ruler from being banished from making Zombie Vampire there. So this time I get your red draw. That's what I wanted. I could have made uh, the... Oh, Fox Titan is interesting. Then we make Chaos Ruler and Chaos Ruler can banish a Shang-Chi. Uh, let's banish a Beatrice, we don't need it anymore. Then we banish a Shang-Chi from the grave. So that way, we get ourselves the Chaos Ruler back. Then Shang-Chi tri effect triggers. Getting myself the... I'm pretty sure I can kill him easily, but I just want to show you this combo. So we banish the all Ghoul. So we summon the Shang-Chi here. Then the all Ghoul triggers from Banish to resummon itself. And you see how good this is, right? Uh, we can change the level, then we just do Foxy Tune, Foxy Tune Pitch. We're gonna pitch the Ghost here. Welcome in, Kara. I hope you're doing good. How is your day going? So we're just gonna go for the lethal. We're not gonna play around with our food. We're gonna go for Barone here. Just pop their Skull Crabat, and that's gonna be more than enough to punch for lethal. But GG! I was scared when you did the Magnemoth. I didn't know if you add like another thing that you could... If you added another Bishul, that would have been really bad for me. I don't know if you were on another Bishul there, but Bishul can destroy my deck. So GG there. Thanks for the duel. I hope you had fun too. I know you... Like the Skullcrabat Ash was kind of rough, but it was still a pretty good back and forth to be honest. I loved it. Thanks for the duel. GG's. But did you have another Bishul in your deck? Because I'm curious. Because if you did, a second Bishul would have fucked me up 
so bad. I would have been so screwed if you had another Bishol. You could have just banished my Doom King or everything else. Good just thinking a lot. Oh. We're gonna go next now, so it's gonna be your turn, Grinch. So you wanted to play the Vampire, right? And you were Apex, so let's go there. Let's have a good duel. May the best duelist win. By the way, Kata, we reached a goal today. We were able to reach Diamond Tree, and we reached a 400 subscriber... Uh, not subscriber. <laughs> follower goal. So we were able to reach 400 followers, so I'm thinking of something to do. I don't have the most ideas right now, so I'm open to chat suggestions. For now, the only idea I have is maybe get the... I, I was thinking maybe get myself some packs to open and then get myself some... Uh, do some karaoke maybe, but that's pretty much the extent of what I think I'm thinking about. Okay, so they have something. I think they might be on Imperm. That wouldn't surprise me. But we never know. We're gonna normal summon Ziamin and see where it goes. Effect of Ziamin? Come on. Does it resolve? Okay, we're gonna add Foxy Tune. We have to discard target already. We really are drawing double vampires today. We are almost never drawing two of them. So we send a Foxy Tune to the grave. Do they have something to stop this now? I know they have an effect that they can use. They could use it. They might be on Labyrinth. That might be what they are on. They have Maxi. Good thing we have the Ash Blossom, so at least we can stop that. That's pretty good. I'm happy about that. So now we get the Deer Note. Deer Note's gonna summon, get myself the Funk Play. And we can do the everything we want now. We send the Doom King to the grave, so it's already in the grave. We get the Deer Note here, then we get ourselves the Dragon Jam Drive. I need to buy this card in IRL. Tomorrow I'm probably gonna go to one of my OTS and see if they have the w card I'm work I like I need for my deck. I need a Neighbor Max, I need like Psychic Tracker, I need some cards. I did but wasn't sure how your deck worked. Yeah, that's the thing, like I'm playing a, a Rogue deck, so most people don't really know what Vampire does and everything. But my deck is really graveyard reliant, so if you had Bishols, it would have really killed me because I'm a lot of dark focused and I need to resummon as not a quick effect from Grave. So if you just like banish that from my deck, I kinda die. Gravekeepers completely shuts me down, to be honest. I don't have that many spell or trap destructions, so I really die to Graveskeeper. So we're gonna do this here, we're gonna send to the graveyard at this point, I think I'm sending- Oh, I need to send the Ghost Sleeper. I almost made an oopsie here, so I send the Ghost Sleeper here. With the Ghost Sleeper, we trigger this. If I had Zombie World now, I could do a Baron to protect myself, but I cannot, sadly. So we make Garura here, Garura banishing- Sending this to the grave and banishing the Shang-Chi. So, it's the same line, you should be used to it by this point. Like, you've seen me play this deck so, so much. It's the only thing I do. Like, the the combo seems convoluted at some point, at some time, but it's really simple once you see the line. It's basically the same thing most of the time. The, the thing that I find neat about this is when you get interrupted and you gotta adapt on, adapt on the fly. Because at that point, I find it so neat how you can, like, do different lines, Play around stuff, like figure out stuff that can work pretty good. Like it's so neat, everything you can do. So we're gonna use Banshee here. Then we're gonna go into Zombie World, we're gonna go into Beatrice. Beatrice here, Photo 2, we get a draw. We have most of the cards we want in the grave. At this point, I think I'm gonna send the... I think I'm gonna send to the graveyard the Mizuki because that's the only card I really do not want to draw right now. Like, the old goal is bad, but it's not too, too bad. So, and it's an extender too, so I can make Baron from this. Cross out is funny here. So, we can do Mizuki for either Pep or Baron. I think Baron is probably better. Or we can go for the Gamba. Do we go for the Gamba, guys? If we resummon the 
Foxy tune. We can go for... I think I go for the Gamba. I'm gonna hit, right? Gamba, you're gonna win. Most of the gamblers stop, like, just before hitting it big. Always Gamba. We always Gamba. And I'm a vampire deck. What am I if I don't use my boss monster? We are gonna Gamba. Fire away! We're gonna send a Foxy tune because we need a light in the grave if we ever make... Oh, you on so so. So so. Uh, we could summon a retainer for an Omni Negate. That would be fine. Then we make a Night P with this and this. Then we resummon the retainer to get ourselves. Like, that would be Omni plus IP. If I do this, that's a Baron. I think IP plus Negate is better. So we resummon the retainer. Oh, I could have done both. I could have done Baron with the Negate. I'm dumb. I could have done Baron with the negate, but that's fine. We get the Omni here. Then we do link those two. We could do Sucker 2. That would give me another draw. I think I prefer the draw. I'm not going to make IP right now. Maybe we get something to make it work. So right here, we're going to do that in hope. We're going to pay 500 more life points. We don't need to. But we're going to hope that we draw a Vampire Monster. So we are going to do Retainer here. Retainer is going to resummon from the Domain. Then that's going to just give us another body. So that we can draw a card from Sucker and that we can get more stuff. That's a pretty good draw to be honest. That is a really good draw. We could go into Fascinator. I don't think I have Yuki Ona in this. So I could just make IP. I don't need a zombie vampire that much. So I think I might just make IP with this and this. So now we have IP here. Protected. We have IP. We have Sucker. We can make Av Avermax if we need. We have the Cross Out. We have the Omni Negate. We are going to get the Doom King. We don't even need to fire up the Beatrice right away. Because we already have the Doom King. Reason to eat more than you give five minute combos. Yeah, I like my combo deck, but I can see that it's kind of annoying for some people because it combos for a long time. Like, I can see that the combo can be long. That's the reason I play Yu Gi Oh! though. Like, the long combos that I can do in the chain for me, I gamble. Oh, do you gamble with like coin tosses or anything? Gambler deck, oh, yeah, the I built a gambler deck once. When I was starting, like, I built a lot of gamble deck, and it was really fun. They weren't good. They were never good, but I had a fun time. I think it was on, like... It was not on Omega. It was on, like, EDO Pro or the predecessor to EDO Pro at the time. Because it was a simulator. I think the simulator doesn't exist anymore. And it was replaced by EDO Pro and Omega. Yeah, long combos are satisfying to complete, and what I find is that long combos are satisfying to complete when your opponent interrupts them. If your opponent, like, stops you from stuff, how you adapt to the combo line being broken is what makes a player for me. It's what makes it fun. So they do have a call by the grave. I think I'm gonna cross out the call by the grave just to be safe, because I really need the Doom King to happen. So we should have another call by the grave in the deck. That's the first time I crossed out a call by the grave. That's interesting. So let's cross out this. So we still have a Doom King. We have a Beatrice to send probably all gold to the grave. That's pretty much the only target we have left. Then we are gonna have Avermax or Goddess for this. So I think we're doing pretty good and we draw a card from Sucker 2. So maybe we draw into an end trap. We have 19 cards left, so half our decks is gone. Oh, not an, not an Entrap, but that's the thing, like, I milled so much from my deck that the odds of me drawing Entraps afterwards are so much higher. And there was no Entrap in the graveyard, so... Unless the Ash Blossom here. But the Ash Blossom was there because they maxied on the first turn. So can they break this board? Can they do something to this board? Maybe, maybe not. I know the Zombie World is gonna screw them over a lot. But let's see, can they come back from this? My deck is really hard to go against going second. But I think they made me go first, right? Okay, Kaijuing the IP is kind of annoying. 
That's really annoying. So that's no Avermax for me. Okay, I see that. I still don't know. Oh yeah, they were on Sorcel. I was gonna say, I still don't know what they are on. Are you gonna evenly me? You're gonna evenly this small little plan? Good thing I have an Omni Negate. Good thing I have my trusted Omni Negate. Now let's see if they have another evenly match. I love this card just because it saves me from evenly match specifically because this deck is so weak to either Dark Pool or No More or evenly that having a counter trap that can sub both of them. No! We're gonna use Beatrice now. It's so sad. We're sad, guys. Uh, we could banish from the grave. I think I'm gonna banish one of your worm. Does this do anything? Uh, if this card is not to give you a synchro, yeah, I'm gonna use Doom King right now because that's probably the last chance I have. I don't think I'm keeping Doom King to be honest, because if I keep Doom King, oh wait, I have a play, guys. I have a play here. I don't need to banish their stuff. I can banish mine. Okay, okay. Look at this. We banish the Shang-Chi here. Then Beatrice resolves. We send the... All, uh, we could send the Grace to the grave. All gold would be good, but Grace could resummon. But I think all gold is just better to protect myself from anything they do. So we banish this. We banish this. We banish this. We banish this. We don't care about those. Then on a new chain, Shang-Chi triggers because she was banished this turn and we banished, we could banish the Al Ghul, but I kind of want to keep him because it could be good as a protection if they try to punch into my stuff. So we summon the Shang-Chi, sadly we do not have the Sucker draw, but we already drew with Sucker and Faze. I think we're good, guys. That was playing to our heart. I did, I thought of that like on the fly. I did not think it would work, to be honest. But I'm really happy I did that. Let's go for this. The send to the grave. At this point, we only really have vampires that we can send. So we are going to do familiar here. We're going to try to go for the lethal. So send this to the grave. Summon the familiar. Use sucker effect. Familiar second. Getting yourself another draw. Dealing some damage herself. So if we can ever go into pep, we are winning. Uh, we are gonna add to our hand. Mr. Poundcake, what's good? Welcome in, Infernal Dark Offer. It's going really good right now. Like, we're playing really good. We're having a fun time. We're doing Viridals right now. We reach Diamond Tree. So that's a good time. We are gonna do Sucker here. I'm gonna give you back your Maxi. But how's your day going? How's your week starting? I will just go to the toilet. I need to release. Okay, have a good time. Uh, I'm gonna wait for you if you're not back anyway. Just give others a turn. Okay, if, if you're not back, I'm gonna give others a turn. And then we're gonna go back to you afterwards. Yeah, when you're back, you're gonna have priority. Yeah, exactly. I'm done for that. I'm completely done for that. So we're gonna tribute this. We're gonna tribute this. Do you have an Ash Blossom in your grave, my guy? Do you? Use Voivode effect, Voivode gets me, you do! And we have a 4-2, two. two tuners, how kind of you! We can make both of our monster! So we make the Peppy Pep, and then we can make the... I think that's lethal with just Pep, Baron, and the Suckers, so we're not gonna overextend there. But we could have made like Xiamen and do the Xiamen play with Foxy Tune to get ourselves the combo going again. I think we didn't use this. Oh, we already used it, so we don't have this thing. But that's fine, we have lethal already. We can just use pep effect, gain more attack. We're not neg gonna negate our own pep and then we punch. And we're gonna give Sucker. She did a lot. Sucker helped us a lot there. But GG. Thanks for the game, Grinch. Like, your evenlies and everything was scaring me. The thing you drew double evenly. If only you went, like, first. But I think your deck is built to go second, right? The thing is, my deck is really scary. My deck is really, really scary going first. If I have... If I have a good starting hand, like, I can make a crazy board. 
So it was the turn of Neb, but they did say they were going to the bathroom, so... I'm gonna go to the next one, so... Wolf Demon, you're still here, right? Uh, Kel and I, you're here. Did you want... I don't remember, did you want me to fight you with your... With my vampires, or did you want me to fight you with my... With my... Other decks? Like, what decks did you want me to play? Up to you? Okay, we're gonna keep going with the vampires. I could switch to some goody later on. It's been a while since I played my goody. Yeah, GG, that was a really good game. You had me on my... Like, with all your end traps and everything, you had me, like, going there. I was a bit scared when you even lead and then you even lead again. But it's just I thought of a play. I just thought on the spot because the first card that appeared in my own graveyard was Shang-Chi. If it was not, I would not have thought of banishing my own Shang-Chi to get back the Shang-Chi for next turn plays. It was the end of hand traps, no worms whatsoever. Yeah, are you, is your deck built to go second or is it built to go first? Because I... Did I win the coin toss? I don't remember, did I? You're charging your phone now and waiting for the event to start to get the jammies, ooh. Do you plan on playing the bird OTK? You're testing out going second, that's completely fair. Okay, we got some stuff to play. We don't have the best starting in, but we can do some stuff. We're gonna start with Domain. Then... Domain, you have this. Equip it with an Equip spell. That's annoying. So now I'm not gonna be able to target any Equip spell. It's List. Exclamation point List. But few words too. Oh, that's interesting. Mechanical, yeah. Like, now they are protected from targeting? Uh, that's adding to your hand. I don't care too much about adding to your hand, to be honest. This thing can happen. It's fine. You can't even do twice. Because it's still in the end phase. You gotta be on on, I think, though. Because that counter trap, if you are not on the setting on, you're gonna miss timing on this stuff. Like, you're, you're not gonna get another option at the end of the battle phase. But if you're set to trigger on on, you are gonna be fine. Uh, we could do a funny line with a ghost fusion, or we could send the... Like, if we do ghost fusion here, we normal su we use domain, we normal summon retainer, we... Use ghost fusion because we're lower, sending the retainer, but we don't have another... Oh, we are, we are gonna have the Ghost Keeper. I think that's what I want to do. I want to try a new line. This end is kind of crunchy. So maybe the new line is gonna open up some new avenues for us, guys. We're gonna try it. We're gonna see if we can make the most of this end. Yeah, I was hoping for Maxi to save me, but your Ash saved you. Yeah, like Ash saved my ass so much. I If I you were able to Maxi me, I would have probably stopped there because I was not able to do a good end board. With what you, with what I had, I would have given you like twenty thousand cards. That so would probably have stopped if you were max resolved. You would have had the game. We are gonna get the Shang Chi here. Shang Chi is gonna banish the Ghost Sleeper. We're gonna keep the Retainer in the grave because it's gonna be important later on. Then we get the Shang Chi. Shang Chi is gonna send to the graveyard. You have something. Uh, we are gonna send. At this point, I think I'm gonna send a Banshee. They have a War Monster anyway, just send traps so we had a chance, yeah. We are gonna trigger the Banshee before we do anything else, just to make sure we... Oh, we almost did that. Just to make sure we don't draw the Zombie World, so we don't really have breaks that much other than Doom King right now. Uh, the problem is now to deal with your Mechanko. They are kind of annoying, I cannot punch into them. I just did my combo, but I did not think of what I would do to beat your cards. So we are gonna do that, send this to the graveyard. We, I have a way to deal with this. We sent to the grave the Mizuki now, probably. Or if we send the familiar, we can do full vampire combo now. So I think I'm gonna send the vamp vampire familiar. Hello Kata, welcome back! We're gonna use this. Let's see what we draw. Foxy Tune is amazing here. Because that opens up so many doors. We already used that, so we can start with doing the retainer. 
It's almost 5 a.m. and I can sleep. No! Oh god. Most of the time when I cannot sleep, I try to put a video on or someone that has a relaxing voice that doesn't speak to like... I or change intonation too much and just try to fall asleep to that. But I'm so sorry to hear that. We're gonna do familiar here. We're not gonna be... I didn't leave, I was here, I'm just trying to fall asleep. I hope you can fall asleep soon. It's always a shame when you you cannot fall asleep. Like, sleep is such a good time of the day. Now we get ourselves the... You do not have monster in the grave, so we need to add the Shadow Vampire. Then we can do the full, like, sucker combo. Wouldn't you... Couldn't you have, like, put your monster right here? Oh, the anima needs to target. <laughs> That's why you have me on. Oh, thank you. I like to know that I'm relaxing. But yeah, I hope you can get to sleep soon. Like, it's never good. And the next day after that, you just feel like shit because, like, you didn't get enough sleep and then you're just feeling bad and it's a shame. Uh, we're gonna resummon the sucker here, get a draw. Then, with the draw, we hope to draw something good. If we draw... Mikanko cannot be stopped, I'm gonna stop them. Watch me. Watch me, I'm getting there. So you're here, drawing me a card. That's a fine card. Doesn't really do anything. Uh, I don't really care about making you send cards to the graveyard. I could just steal your monster, <laughs> to be honest. I can just steal it and punch you for game, but I cannot punch you for game now. Only this guy can punch, so I gotta think smarter. I could do... Do I have the Doom King? I do not have Doom King in the grave. So I might just end on IP. Oh, you're back. Okay, you're gonna be the next one. We're still on a singular duel right now. So I think I'm gonna... IP Mascarena. If I do... No, I don't have the other guy there. The play I could do other than this is do Fascinator. I did normal summon, but I could Fascinator not use the first effect so I don't get locked. Then steal the Mikanko. I actually kind of like that, to be honest. We do this here. We use this guy. We keep the Scarlet Scourge to be able to at least deal some damage here. Then we do Fascinator. Fascinator is not going to trigger. Oh, I can't even use the second effect. Oh, I cannot target. I cannot target here! Oh, that's annoying. That's really annoying. I did not think about that. I really didn't. Then we're gonna do... I sh oh, I should have done that before. I had a 5 on the field and I just got rid of my 5. I'm misplaying so much, guys. I'm completely misplaying there. We could do... If I do this... Uh, if this card sent from the field to the graveyard, can target one punk. So we could do this, resummon the Foxy Tune and get more bodies, or we get the Z Amin, pay some life point. We cannot go synchro, but we can go into IP at least to get ourselves some stuff, but we for sure screwed up there. Uh, Foxy Tune would get us another 8, and we could have an IP plus an 8 on the field. Does that do anything? Not true. Really? Uh, I kind of screwed up there for sure. Uh, but the more body, the better. But I think I'm gonna do that. Just add a Foxy to you as another card for next turn. So doing this, getting myself the Deer Note. Then I cannot tribute summon, so I think I'm just gonna go for IP here with those two. Yeah, I know the timer. The timer's coming. We're gonna turn this to on, and then we're gonna go end phase. We no point in attacking. Like they are Mikanko. There's literally no point in attacking them. But I really screwed up this turn. I got so confused. I thought about fascinated to target this, but I forgot that they cannot be targeted. I completely blanked on this. I was so dumb there. Uh, we sent to the grave the Doom King here. That was not my smartest smartest move, guys. Don't take this game as an example of what you should do with this deck if you ever want. And I even got rid of the sucker, so I don't have another draw now. I'm so sad. I forgot to... I forgot to set Domination! 
no! Everything's going wrong! Oh god, everything is going wrong, guys! Oh, everything is bad now! So, they're gonna do this. At least we have a way to deal with stuff. I feel we should still be fine. Uh, we're gonna Ash Blossom this. We can always just Doom King banish a card. I think I'm gonna do that right now. We banish a targeting one. Because Doom King does not target. So at least we can banish them. So banish one monster. We banish this one. There you go. Boop. Then we negate this one. And let's see if we can make it out of this. It's scary though. I really screwed up this game. I really, really did a bad play. Uh, you can banish this card and target one equipped fail. So they're getting this back. That's fine. We still have the IP here to go into Goddess if we need to. Which is probably going to be our out. Abramax doesn't do anything against our deck. We can, on the other hand, go into Enomain. We're going to go Goddess here. So Goddess with this. Contest 2. Contest this. Uh, use this. Use this. All of these. Losing the timers. <laughs> dying to storm in Fortnite. You don't want to know how many times I've died to storm in Fortnite. And not in Fortnite, but in PUBG. You don't want to know how many times I died to storm in PUBG and everything. Okay, you scared me like that. You scared me there, Wolf. Don't threaten a, a, an evenly like that. Do not. And now I think I have game. I've got... If I turn this to face up, I got 8.2k, but I can just guarantee hit by summoning this. Making a pep so I'm protected from stuff. Special summon a Mikanko. That's fine. I'm not gonna maxi on that. That's gonna be rude. So they special summon the green Mikanko. That's fine. Then they equip it with this, which is kind of annoying. Uh, but using the effect was kind of a mistake there. You needed to not use the effect because, because you did. Now I can just banish it. So that was your undoing. Go away. Bye bye. Take me up the queue. I'm a heat and and it's super slow. Okay, okay, that's fine. I, I'm probably not going for too long. So we're gonna do nap and probably after that I'm gonna maybe end for today because it's getting a bit late for me. But we are going to do Psychic and Punisher here. And that's going to protect us from most things. We could have banished their trap card. That probably was a smarter idea. But they're not going to have anything, right? We just punch one punch man into their face. Let's go. GG. You actually had me on the rope. Because if you did not use the effect of the green girl... You just always just catch me randomly. Well, that's fine. And Nep, it's going to be your turn. Did you have a preference for any deck that you wanted me to use? Oh, the playlist ended. So let's continue on with this. We're almost uh, at the end of the playlist right now. Kind of crazy. I didn't expect to go to the end of there. So if they're not saying anything, you're back, Nep, right? Pudding deck? Uh, I don't have a pudding deck. I was thinking of building, like, the... Medolce, but I don't have the UR Dust to make them right now. So those are the decks I have right now. I have, like, Punk. I have... That's not complete, so I can do that. I have... Uh, Goaty. I have Sprite Goaty. I have... I don't think the brand is legal, but I could make some changes to make it legal. Uh, I have Fluffles. I have an NR deck. I have a meme deck. I have Go Street too. I have another build of Goody. I don't know which one is good. I have Black Wings too. And other than that, the other decks are kind of unplayable. I have Suship and I have Bean. So what do you prefer? I do not, sadly, I do not have a Medolce deck. The deck I want to build. It's probably the... You know the Nouvelle? Who is down? Ooh. What's the food? What you what are you having right now? Do you know now? Like, I know you said it was something your uncle was making. Fluff? Okay, let's go. 
Let's see if my deck is still legal. It's been a while since I played my fluff ball. No, it's illegal. So let's not make it a change. Let's go for the fluffle and have a good time. Let's see. It's been a real long time since I played the fluff ball. I stopped playing them when tier became popular. Because tier was such a pain to deal with fluffle. Like every single effect you do other than Kraken is a pop. So if you pop a tier, you're kind of crying. So I just stopped playing them at that time. This end goes crazy though. This is a really, really good end. Like this end is amazing. I love this end already. Bacon wrapped chicken, potato and gratin and baked beans. Oh, you're making me hungry right now. I'm probably gonna go snack on some things after this. Because I'm getting hungry. You made ju you just made like my mouth water a bit. End phase. Are you on Mikanko? Mikanko's gonna be annoying for me. I don't have good ways to deal with them that much. But if I'm going second, I might be able to just kill. We are gonna do Fluffle Bear. Do you have the Ash Blossom? You have the Max C. That's gonna be annoying, but I think I'm still gonna play through it. I'm gonna try to OTK you this turn. So we flip this now. I think we use the effect to send Wayne to the graveyard. Draw, sadly, that was not a fluffle. We can now, we have other options. We can either do wing right now, get ourselves a lot of draws, which I think is what I want to do because I can get Dolphin reset this thing and do double draws from this. So I think that's a play. The, the goal of Fluffles is basically to play as many toy vendor as you can. Oh, and we just get the other one. We just keep on winning. And then toy vendor is going to get me the Dolphin here. And I think I'm going for the kill. I'm going for sure for the kill. With this hand, I'm able to kill you this turn. We're going to use Fenrir here. Fenrir is going to add me to Fenrir. Then we are going to summon the Dolphin. I died to a Nib, but they're not going to have Nib, right? Nib doesn't exist. It's a fake. Nib isn't real, guys. Don't worry about it. Nib doesn't exist. You can stop now. Uh, we are going to send to the Grave. At this point, we can send the bear because we don't really need the bear anymore. We have every single toy vendor. We are going to activate every single toy vendor that we have in end. Just play them all. All the toys for every kid. Then we special summon the magician soul. Special summon this card by sending this to the graveyard. Special summon it here. You draw another card, but now I can send two spells to the grave. So see how crazy this is? I sent two Toy Vendor to the grave, so I draw two cards. And then I search two cards from Toy Vendor. It's stupid. I love this so much. So we get this, this, then we have a new thing for an interruption. If you ever try an interruption, we are going to be kind of good. I want the Saber. Saber is going to be real helpful. So Saber, then the other one is going to add me the... I could add the sheep, or I could add the dog. Uh, if I make the whale first, I can do dog search, search the sheep. That's better that way. So let's go for... We can try to gamble away. See if we hit anything. We don't really need the Fenrir anymore. Let's see if we hit anything. We do! We do! We are going to special summon the penguin here. Welcome back, Kata. So we are going to do... Fluffle penguin. Going to get ourselves... The Fluffle dog in play. And for sure, like, they're drawing a lot of cards. But I feel like I can still win. I died to Nib, probably. But they're not going to have Nib. I already told you guys. They're not on Nib. They are not. They just aren't. Then we are... Wing is once per turn, right? Uh, you can only use this effect of wing, yeah. So we are gonna add ourselves to the end the penguin again. A relationship advice, you can ask, but I might not be the best guy to ask about, but you can ask away. I'm down to try to help to the best of my knowledge. So we are gonna get the chain. Then we are gonna go into a crush sheep. 
with those two right here. And with Rush Sheep now, we can just polymerization the Penguin and the Edge of Chain from our hand into a Brighter Whale. So sending this, sending this from hand. Welcome in, Eka. How are you doing? Uh, we cannot use the whale, sadly, because you do not have cards. But I think I'm using this first. I'm using this second. So... I could use whale to send to the graveyard. If they draw an imp, it's just unfortunate at this point. Uh, we are going to discard the saber because I need the saber in the grave. We are going to add the Fright for Fusion here. We have over lethal, so I'm not going to overextend. We are going to threaten Battle Phase and punch the game. If they were on Nib, the thing that would have happened is they could have like sent everything to the graveyard afterward, like from the Nib. But I still had a Fright for Fusion with enough material. To make a dog that would have been like super strong. And then I just drop it at their nib and just punch them for game. So GG. I'm guessing you were on Mikanko, right? R right, Nep? I'm guessing you were on Mikanko. Sadly, I won the coin test and went second. And we're both like going second decks. That was kind of unfortunate. But I'm so sorry that you... Do you want another go? I can give you another go. If you want another game. Because you didn't get to play any cards this game. So do you want another game? And I can let you choose if you want to go first or second. I, I can give you another game. I know it was unfortunate because you didn't draw anything. But if you want another go, I can, like, you can decide. Do you want to go first? First turn for you is a no-no? Okay. So I can, we can go another time and I can make you go first. Uh, make you go second, I mean. If I win the coin toss. Because I kind of feel bad. You didn't get to play card. Other than Maxi, you didn't get a chance to play a card. I'm guessing you want Mikanko, right? I'm not using something my get deck is second turn, okay. Then we can go again, and I'm gonna make you go second this time. So I wanna see what you get your deck does. If you would have me again. I'm gonna close the queue though. But yeah, Kala, if you have anything you wanna ask, I'm down to answer you. <laughs> Holy man abuse! But do you want another game? If you don't want one, I, I'm i okay to not giving you one, but... If you want to go second, I'm gonna go make you go second this time. Oh, you won the coin toss anyway, so it's up to you. Show me what you can do. Because we both are playing a going second deck, which is kind of funny. Like, Fluffles are full on going second, they don't do much going first. Okay, this end can do some stuff. Starting with the Fenrir is pretty good. If they started on Maxi again, I can stop them at least. I can end... Like, what is the end board I want to end on right now? I could go for maybe Baguska Pass, but that's so boring. Fenrir here, special summon the Fenrir, add to my end the other Fenrir. That's good. Fenrir is good in this because that's another discard target. We can get this right for patchwork. Getting ourselves this, adding to our hand. I think I'm adding the side right now. Because we are gonna probably play on your turn. Uh, we could do this and send the call by the grave, but I think we just wait. Just sit on the Fenrir. We got the edge of side that we can use to. Start to. Fusion summon during your turn anytime, so that's gonna probably be the end turn. So let's see how their Mechanko deck does now. They are on a going second deck, so they should be in their element. A Kaiju! I expected as much. A big Kaiju too. That's a big boy! Prep of Right is kinda good. You started really good this game. Like, Edge of Sight is only Fright first, so I can make a Whale at one point. Sending a Lava Golem, sure. So you're adding an Equip spell, you're probably gonna bounce the Kaiju, right? But if you bounce the Kaiju, I'm fine. Because if you bounce the Kaiju, you just don't have a monster to punch into. 
So I'm fine with that. You're adding double-edged sword. Okay, you want to kill me this turn. I see how it is. So you're gonna special summon a Mikanko. Probably the green one to make yourself untargetable, I would guess. No, you, are, you get the Oime. Oh, that's a ritual spell, right? So this one here... It's still not protected from anything. So double-edged sword on my... Kaiju? Sure, that's fine. Then Animane, we're gonna go Sight here. Sight is gonna fusion into Whale. Using Sight and the Octopus. I just have barely enough material to do this. Uh, I think I kinda wanna put the Whale in defense. In case this does not pan out, I kinda wanna put the Whale in defense. And then I'm gonna use Whale. But the Kaiju just so gracefully gave me and popped your card. There you go. Then Whale is on the field. Can you do anything else now? That was my one piece of interruption for the turn. Okay, so... You can banish. So what are you doing now? Send one Mikenko card from Deck to the Graveyard. Uh, okay, so you're sending a card. Send me the Fire one. You're in main one still. So you're not in battle phase right now. So if you have another way to extend, you can maybe do something still. End phase, okay. Now, can I kill you this turn? We're gonna use well just to get rid of our Garnet in our deck. We do not want to draw the Repair, but we want it in a Grave. So we're gonna send it to the Grave right away. And then we are gonna draw... Ooh! That's actually not that good, to be honest. We can do Illusion of Chaos for sure. Like, we're gonna deck in a bit. But that's not great. We cannot kill you this turn at least. If that's what you're worried about, I cannot kill you this turn. Welcome back, a man. <laughs> it's all for you. This one is all for you. Uh, we could actually do... Magician Soul? Special summon this card, sending one of the Magician guy and try to draw. See if we can draw into anything that would win us a game. Like, I don't think, I don't think I'm gonna get rid of my Polly because Polly is just too good. But drawing one might fix my hand. That's an amazing draw. That would have been great last turn. But now I think I'm gonna gamble it away. So do this, send the... Fenrir to the grave. Please, please, please. No! We've missed. We missed, guys. Oh, that's so sad. We can still go into... Like, there's still some way to do stuff. We can normal summon this girl. Uh, it's cards in your hand. Oh, that's another once per turn, this thing. I just... Wait, it is? You can only use... Oh, it was lower. Uh, when everything fails, guys, just make Verde. Just make Verde. Verde is the solution to everything. Make Verde. I miss this boy. Uh, send a Polly. We're gonna add Fright for Fusion to the grave. And then I think I'm making Kraken because Kraken is lethal. We make Kraken here. We banish those two. Then we summon the Fright for Kraken here. We can change this to attack. Then go battle phase. And then we're going to do the good practice of not here, but in damage count. Just before damage count, we do this to boost the Kraken because it can double attack. So we're going to send this little guy to the graveyard, then punch for 2.3k, then punch for 2.3k again, and punch again. Final turn. GG. You were really close. If I did not grab myself the Edge Gem Sight on the first turn, I would like I'd like to test. I can do one final one. So if you want to test it, are you down to test it against my Fluffle? Like if I can do, I can do one final duel. So if you want to test it against my Fluffles, I'm down. 
So I'm in love with this girl. It just for some reason I can't stop my brain from thinking. I'm not overthinking. I'm just thinking about her all the time and I can only fall asleep when I'm talking to her. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like I had one point of interruption. You were so close to having everything you need to play through this. If you only had the, th had the thing that could bounce stuff or something, you were good. Like you could like bounce my stuff and set up a board. But I had a single piece of interruption. I was able to make one fusion during your turn. And that was enough. Just enough. But if you were able to get the targeting one, I was not. <laughs> Fuck Fluffles. Well, you were the one to ask for them. You were the one to ask for them. Oh, wait. That's not you, right? That's Grinch. Yeah, I was about to ch face someone else. I'm sorry, but you were the one to ask for Fluffles there. Like, I still think Fluffles are way better going second deck than Mikanko. Because Fluffles at least can do some stuff going first. Uh, for you, Kata, I don't really know what to say, I would say. If it's driving you that... You never know how annoying love is. It really is. But the thing is, if you let it eat at you like that, it's not going to get better. So if I were you, I would just like... Uh, are you close to them? Is it like a close friend? Do you, did you know them for long? Because the thing is, if you keep it unknown for too long, it's just going to eat at you. So that is the thing. That's what the thing I was talking about when we were doing like, like some Mega Man. If you just keep eating it in, it's just going to eat at yourself. So that's not going to be the greatest. Okay, so he's on Counter Fairy, I'm guessing, right? Goddess of Light. So... Oh, God. The problem is... Okay, setting a card. All the deck you fight I lose, I'm sorry. She knows she just don't feel like dating at all. Oh, well at this time, at this point... I, I think like... At this point, if she... Doesn't feel like dating, I know it's hard. But it is hard to move on, but you can still like tell her that you're interested, that you have feeling for her, and that if it ever comes up, but don't push yourself on her and just like let her know. And maybe afterwards, like if she ever feels like dating again, that might be your way in. But I really don't know. To be honest, I've never been in this situation, so I don't know I would I would handle this myself. That's a really tough question, to be honest. Uh, this effect can only be used... Uh, during your main phase, you can special summon Fluffle Monster from your end, except Fluffle. So that's not gonna work. I think the only way to get this going is I droplet your monster, sending the chain to the grave. So that way, I can get my play going. That is the only way. So now I get this. Then I draw myself. I'll be there when you feel like you want to date again. I'll wait even if it takes 10 years. That's a good way to go, I feel. Because you cannot force her to want to date. But at the same time, like, I know it's hard for you, but... You should try to move on a bit. Try to find a hobby, maybe. Find something that would interest you a lot. Like, find something that would get you really psych about something and that's gonna keep your mind occupied because you need to keep your mind occupied of stuff otherwise it's gonna eat at you all the time so now we can either do chimera or we can do tiger tiger could pop everything and we talk but every time we talk i fall in love with her more that's completely fair but you gotta respect our boundaries too that is the hard part. I'm going to be honest, it's not an easy thing that you're living right now. I'm going to be completely honest. It, it, honest. It, you cannot control love. And I feel you're handling it how you should. And it's just sad that you can't really do much more. But it is what it is. I think I'm going to send those three monsters here. 
But I really don't know. I I don't feel uh, like I am in a spot that I'm able to answer you really on that note. So we're gonna pop this. We're gonna pop this. And we're gonna pop this here. So popping everything to make sure that everything's in the grave. We draw two cards, discard one, two. What do we do face down? Uh, we are gonna discard the repair. That's a good discard. Then we can do foolish burial good. And we have some pretty good plays now. We send this to the graveyard. We search the... Uh, I think I can kill you this turn. I'm gonna try uh, to add to your hand. If I add the this thing that doesn't work, we need to add the dolphin now. So we normal summon the penguin. We special summon from penguin the dolphin. To get ourselves another body on the field. And then dolphin can use its fake to get the toy vendor again back on the field. Then we send wings to the grave to get ourselves another body. Then we flip the toy vendor. We can even try, like, we're not gonna need the call by the grave, so let's try for Gamba before we use the wing here. That's not something we needed, but that might be useful for protection. So we use the wing here. Uh, I don't know what we have in the graveyard as material. I think I'm gonna get rid of the squid. Oh, drawing another toy vendor. Drawing another card here, getting a. That's really good, because we get another toy vendor here. We get ourselves, at this point, we are already normal, so I'm gonna get the sheep. To get another body on the field. We are gonna use bear. Bear is gonna get ourselves another toy vendor from the deck, the final one. I just love how this deck just plays toy vendor and toy vendor and just cycle it over and over again. So we discard toy vendor. Not getting a fluffle, but that's fine, it's just to get the toy vendor search. So we get another search here. Getting herself at this point, I kind of want the dog. Getting her dog here could be good. So now we can go. Do we have the other thing? We do. So I think we're just dead here. Because I special summon this. Then use this effect to bounce this back to end. Then get myself the saber then with the saber i can make myself the verte and with verte i'm gonna be able to make myself the doggo with a lot of attack it, like it's been a week now of just me staying up until 7 a.m oh i'm so sorry to hear that it's so sad like, it's kind of bad, because it's gonna affect your health, it's not gonna be good, and everything, so... But I, I'm pretty sure, like, the best solution for you would be to find yourself something that you really love doing, to keep your mind occupied. That's probably the best thing you can do. Uh, let's send everything, screw it! Let's send everything we have. There we go! Yeah, being, like, unable to sleep is really, really annoying. So we're gonna punch here. You don't have Battle Fader, do you? Like, you for sure don't, right? And a 1. And a 2. And a 3. This duck could attack, like, 5 times here. But thanks for the game. Thank you. That could be scary. Are you on fairies or counter fairy? Because I know most people play, like those cards to play the counter trap and everything to play counter fairies but i'm not sure i didn't see any counter traps so maybe you were just on fairies full fairies uh let me see now uh my own varieties of fairies Ooh, i would have loved to see more of it but today i think sadly we're gonna need to go for now because i'm getting a bit tired i gotta rest up a bit uh i think i might send you to pumi it's been a while since i raided her i feel and she's just live i don't know when she started but you breaked on your first and yeah i kind of guess because i was like i feel like fairy decks can go way harder 
When you summon the girl that draws your card every time you draw a fairy, I was like, is he gonna like draw his whole deck and go into Exodia? Because I've seen a variant of that. Someone summon the angel that you have, then summon the fairy, then add like magical mallet and everything. So they redraw, they redraw, they redraw, they redraw, and they go into they try to get into like Exodia from there. That's a version that I saw before. But I think while we talk here, I'm gonna start the raid. So let's start the raid for Boo Miriam. She's playing right now some punk. So I hope you're gonna enjoy. She's fighting verbs. So that's the raid. We're gonna do the here's the raid message for those that are sub. Here is the raid message for those that are not. Feel free to join in. It's always fun to show that we are there. And on that note, I'm gonna go rest up myself too. Probably gonna go grab something to eat. I'm feeling hungry right now. So I'm gonna grab something to eat. I'm gonna go rest my eyes a bit. I hope you guys enjoyed today. It was really fun. Like I had a lot and a lot of fun today. So I hope you guys had too. And the next stream is gonna be on... I'm I'm not gonna stream here on Friday. Thanks for the head pats. I'm not gonna stream here on Friday. I'm gonna be on Lily's stream again for the uh, Baldur's Gate. So if you want to find Lily Koizumi, uh, I'm gonna post on Discord too. If you wanna know when it happens, I'm gonna retweet it too. If you wanna just join on our chaos of Baldur's Gate, we're so chaotic. And after that, it's gonna be on Friday. I think I'm gonna try to celebrate the 400. So if you guys have any idea, in the meantime, drop them in the Discord. I'm going to be more than happy to take ideas from you guys. And I think for now, if I don't get any more suggestions, I'm going to go for a card pack opening. So we're going to get some cards. We're going to open some cards and probably going to do some karaoke on Friday. And we're going to play some Yu-Gi-Oh! too. So I hope to see you guys there. And I hope you can get some good sleep. I know you said you were insomniac right now, Kata, but I, I hope you can fall asleep soon. And on that note, I'm going to see you guys next time.